Come forth, ye valiant brothers and sisters. Make way to the gates of this hallowed and ancient hold. Here on these sacred stones, we lay foundation for the rebirth of our ancestors' greatest fastness. Come forth into the light. Glory awaits thee in Valengar. Uh, Jerry, Jerry threw that together, uh, and uh, uh, some of the art for the characters came on somewhat late and was not integrated uh, into the intro. Hey everybody, uh, Matt Colby, thanks for tuning in. We're taking two weeks off from the Chain of Akron, and my friend Phil has volunteered to run. He has run for some of us before in this same setting. These are new characters that we made for this new two-shot that he has uh, graciously designed for us and uh so i'm super excited to see what's gonna happen yeah me too uh yeah all right cool let's go all right so i'm gonna give you guys just sort of a little intro in info i think you some of you have already seen this but for the for the sake of the the, the viewers right so and i'm gonna be doing a lot of reading because like i said week to prepare yeah that's fine uh, that's fine yeah right. pick yourself up so over the past year stories have emerged that the ancient dwarven stronghold of Valengard was discovered north of the Grey Wall in the Wormwood. That's right. For those who don't know, the Wormwood is a nasty place. Yeah. Uh, a dwarf named Rugar Steelhaven, priest of Galdimer, and his followers have driven out an army of devils who were residing in the ruins and cleansed Valengard of evil. Soon after this, uh, a call went out from Lord Rugar himself, and that was what I said at the beginning. Um, and you guys have all heard this call, and you have come. Uh, as far as like the way that you know the, the discovery of this place has affected the world, right? The story has captured the imaginations of dwarves young and old. So the dwarf population of Sanctuary seems to have developed kind of a collective spring in their step, right? At uh, you know, and many have answered Lord Rugar's call. Uh, the reasons for doing so are. Many. Uh, some people seek forgotten riches. Uh, some seek redemption. Some just sort of wish to disappear into a place where nobody knows them, uh, while others just chase glory. Uh, some simply seek employment, while others feel honor bound to protect this sacred place. You guys have answered the call. Uh, so here's your chance to introduce <laughs> yourselves, uh, give a little description of your characters, uh, what they look like, and any other information you feel is pertinent. All right, I'll start. Uh, I am Dagmar Briarthorn, druid of the Greyvale, which is this sort of like smoky, foggy, kind of dismal place yep. off in the corners. A lot of little logging villages and things like that. And Dagmar used to be a, uh, a logger himself. He was a smith for the loggers. And uh, on one fateful expedition into the wood, he, uh, his, almost his entire troop. Yeah, I drew him. I drew a little doodle of him today. Um, I mean, I, I totally did work today, but... Uh, Wait. <laughs> hang about. <laughs> yeah, but me yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, if, uh, 40 men went into the Wormwood that day. Only about five return. And Dagmar's never been the same ever since. It's he's usually been, the way it goes with... He's them. been a hermit. Yeah. Uh, reconnecting with, uh, with nature. And you're a circle of land druid? I am a circle of the land druid, specifically a circle of the forest. Oh, exactly. you, oh it, right, right, right. Yeah, it, it just determines mm. which kind of spells you always have right. on hand. So I've, I've got like spider climb and uh, bark skin. I think. And is circle of the land the spell casting druid? Yes. Got it. As opposed to shape shifting. Got it. Yeah. Ooh. Justin? This is Justin's first time ever playing D&D &D ever. Yes! I am a D&D &D virgin. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have a very short introduction for Helldust Bonebraid. She, yes, she is strong as hell. Dust. <laughs> and Justin drew, Justin drew that? Oh yeah, there she is. Also, Justin drew the Court of Arcadia from mm -hmm. uh, Strongholds and Followers, yeah. which yeah, is yeah. pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the Celestials. Uh, the Celestials. That's right, and the Celestials, yes, which yeah. people fucking love. Oh, good, like good. the Monarchon and stuff like that. Anyway, mm -hmm. sorry. 
<laughs> Quiet. Yes. Uh, Hell Dust is <clears throat> an outlander. Uh, she didn't come to play. She came to slay dragons. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully that doesn't come up. <laughs> uh, and you are so you're a barbarian. Mm-hmm. And which type of barbarian? I am the totem path of the totem. Did, do we know what's? Well, I don't remember which type of barbarian is what. I don't know. Oh, I'm okay. a mountain. Right. I just mean like I don't. I'll have to look it up and see. I don't remember what. Yeah, totem is the like animal. Yeah. Oh, I think okay. I like animal aspects on. Oh, that's right. That's what the eagle. I get. That's what the eagle thing is. So you're a mountain dwarf. You're a hill dwarf, right? Yes. Yeah. So so for anyone who doesn't know, um, oh, well, the mountain dwarves sort of have their own kingdom in 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 the Stormwall, which is oh, really? like okay. the the Rockies of of uh, my world. Uh, the hill dwarves are sort of like they've they've historically been in kind of a shitty place their their kingdom fell a thousand years ago to the orcish hordes and they've sort of been in dire straits ever since uh so again the discovery of alangar is kind of like big news right because it's maybe an opportunity for them to retake some of that past glory is there a name of the dwarf the mountain dwarf kingdom kuros that's right k-u-r-o-s all right matt you're up uh, I'm Morag. Morag. <laughs> Morag, the the she calls herself a witch. Morag, the witch, and I have come down from was outcast from my people. They feared me, and I have come to Valengard, uh, looking for more, more lore because I've got a taste of knowledge and power. And Morag wants more. All right. Uh, what, what is, oh, okay. I'm a divination wizard. Okay. And so, uh, and I'm a mountain dwarf. I picked, I picked the, I can wear armor dwarf as opposed to the, I get more hit points dwarf. Mm. Cause my hit points were fucked no matter what. <laughs> and one, four, four, it would have been like, it would have been four more hit points, I think, which at the end of the day would not have made a difference. <laughs> but being able to wear armor, I thought would be pretty cool and. Yeah, and I, I drew my character as far as you know. <laughs> <laughs> she's uh, she's a looker. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. She's old. She's I, I picked. I went and looked at how old dwarves get, uh-huh. and made her on the, very close to the max. <clears throat> Wait, uh, you're yeah. both old dwarves, aren't you? You're both are you? Are you old? Are you old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, you're both old ladies. Old ladies. Yeah. Yes. Uh, got a motherly presence. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna sure, need yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Morag might be more more kind of the classic like ah, deary that kind of uh, okay, right. that kind of thing. She wants uh, to eat the dwarves. Uh, well, I mean, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Matt. Uh, I will be playing Yisno Brewmaster, who is a uh, he's a hill dwarf as well, uh, and he's also a bard who loves to play bagpipes rather brilliantly. I think. Um, I live in, or I did live in Blisters. Uh, oh, yeah. In one of, there's, I think there's many taverns there. I kind of went, well, two or three. I kind of went tavern to tavern in Blisters, kind of drinking and playing my bagpipes and generally making a nuisance of myself. <laughs> but I kind of had a skill that I can make beer, grog, booze, out of almost anything. So, you know, I could go out for the day, out into the woods, make up some grog. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, take it into the taverns. Anyone want to try one? Oh yeah, I'll try one. Look, look, good. And then I'd hear stories, and that's how I found out about Valengard. And I was like hearing some stories there, and people telling me about kind of ancient, um, some ancient scriptures that had been found um, by, um, uh, like in, in the old libraries that told of. Um, told of uh, like a great keep that the, the dwarves used to have. Yeah. Um, but there, we'll hear more of that stories on the road. <laughs> um, what else does he do? Bagpipes, booze. And yeah, so when I found out about Vanguard and the call, I was like, there might be some more chance to drink there. And off I went. I'm sure that, I'm sure that the, 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 the folks in <laughs> will certainly appreciate uh, more grog. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. All right, Myers. Right, I was, uh, Jason didn't draw me a parrot, but no, look, look tell God. you what, I'll tell you what, look, look, oh, look, my kids, my kids drew my character art, look, <laughs> and they did like a little parrot up there, there that, parrot, that yeah. squawk, 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 and apparently it can do 
It has a thing where it can send a message. It looks like you're wearing sunglasses. It looks like John Lennon. John yeah. Lennon disguised as a bar bar dwarf. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, that that went well. And I didn't draw this. This was my kids. Uh -huh. <laughs> Better on. than the Art King. Hey. <laughs> Next to that. These were the New Art King. Uh. All right. Uh, so I'm Ragna Stoneheart. I'm an Oath of Vengeance paladin. Uh, I serve in the Pact, which is a uh, ancient group of dwarves that have a blood feud with all the goblinoids in Phil's world. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, they were wiped out, and there's a new High Vindicator that's been appointed that is in Valengard, and I'm headed there to report to him. Uh, and I have beautiful red hair that Matt doesn't like. <laughs> that hair is pretty he ridiculous. He, like he takes, that hair is pretty ridiculous. He takes what? good care of his hair. Yeah. Long, flowing, yeah. Long. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. David Coverdale. Beautiful. Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah. It's yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. That's just, <clears throat> that's just you again, isn't it? <laughs> I, uh, I could say that. But, uh, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I mean, Hasenauer really likes me, so I mean, I do that. So <laughs> <clears throat> projecting. All right. So, are we in Valengar? Are we at no. Valengar? Oh, no. we're not. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, you are currently in the small logging village called Blisters. Yeah, okay. Oh! oh. Hey! That's home <laughs> uh, uh, Yeast Nor's hometown. Mm-hmm. Though I think they'll probably be glad to be rid of you. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. People went blind with the last batch. So, uh, on the morning you're, uh, that your caravan is scheduled to depart, you are in the small village of Blisters, which is a small frontier town. It's on the northwest edge of civilization. And they eke out their living logging, right? It's cutting, you know, taking wood out of the surrounding forests. Uh, the caravan is made up of approximately 100 or so other pilgrims. Uh, most, of your, most of your fellow tra travelers, travelers, travelers. travelers are dwarves. Uh, though men are not an uncommon sight in the procession. Uh, I mean, everyone's in, you know can be inspired by the, the, the finding of an ancient you know realm. Uh, you can see a few halflings riding amongst the procession, which is very odd. They're typically loath to leave their sort of secluded little hamlets in Green Valley. Uh, but there are three of them here, and they're riding these massive black dogs. Um, they're called orc hounds. Orc hounds. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Tom read the handout. Yeah, he did. Handout. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> what's that? I went handout. <laughs> uh, there are also three mem members of the Silent that are, you know, <clears throat> packing up their corpse wagon. Uh, for those who don't know, the Silent are sort of, they're the body collectors, right? They're these sort of uh, uh, mute monks. Uh, they have masks, they're completely covered head to toe, and they basically go everywhere and mm. to perform last rites on the dead. Uh, the God of Saturday. They're basically the children of the, the God of Death, but not in a bad way. Right? Okay. Uh, all right, so here you all are, uh, drawn by the promise of great deeds and the hope of a prosperous future. Uh, so you have three guides for your journey. Uh, the first, uh, they are led, these three guides, they are led by a surly dwarf uh, known only as Sarge. Uh, he is the most vigilant of the three guides. His eyes are always sort of darting, searching for danger. Uh, you know, some might label him as paranoid if you weren't planning to travel into one of the most infamous and deadly places in Sanctuary. Uh, he has an odd habit of, like, telling people he's not going to leave. <laughs> Whatever that is. It'd be alright. I'm not gonna leave you. He always comes back. So. Uh, the second of your guides is sort of this quiet chap. He has got a rather sleepy demeanor. Uh, he's a mountain dwarf, uh, from the looks of him. Uh, Heldrick is his name, and he seems as though he spends the better part of his day in kind of an alchemically induced haze. Uh, he sits on the lead wagon. He's driving the oxen in the lead wagon. He whistles this old mountain dwarf lament. It kind of gives the whole, just this sort of feeling of melancholy. He's, he's kind of a downer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, might have something to do with his history. Uh, the last of the three, uh, clearly the muscle of the group, is going to take some getting used to. Uh, indeed, uh, several pilgrims, upon looking at uh, this creature, decided they weren't going to make the trip. Uh, he's a huge, ancient hill giant. Uh, he's missing a left foot. Yes! Uh, and he sort of sits in the back of the lead wagon. He's got a big uh, burlap sack full of rotting onions. And he just sits there <laughs> and, you know, and just sort of looks around. He's you know, fat and lazy and 
you know. Uh, apparently, uh, the only word he knows is yon yon. That's what they call him. <laughs> yon yon. Yon yon. Right. So those are your guys. Oh, I mean. All right. Yeah. It took us weeks, I think, to figure out that his name was basically him saying onion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just, figured, yeah, just, just figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He loves onions. That's his thing. All right. So on day one, uh, you cross the Oakwater Creek and pass through the village gates into the clear cut fields of Blister Oak and Black Pine north of the village. Uh, this is, you know, where these guys make their living. Uh, the trail is all uphill as you slowly ascend into the highlands south of the Wormwood. You pass a couple of logging camps on the way. Uh, a lot of times the, log the loggers will stop working as your caravan passes. Uh, a few of them wave, right? Happy, you know, hmm. like most of them are dwarves, the ones that sure. wave. Uh, but a lot of them sort of scowl and shake their heads and just go back to work. And mm -hmm. Those tend to be the humans. Yeah. Um, it seems as though not everyone sort of shares the enthusiasm for, for this discovery. Um, knowing what you know, um, these kind of things have a tendency to unearth dangerous things that always tends to blow back on, on the common folk, mm -hmm. right? So people in Sanctuary are not super, they don't have a super high opinion of adventurers. They call them ghoulers. Ghoulers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ghouls sort of rob graves, right? And that's, that's what they see adventurers as. Um, so anyways... Uh, so yeah, you're, you're basically just going, and the, the forest that you're traveling through, through the first day and the second day are pretty normal, right? But it's slow going, right? These are ox drawn carts. They rumble along, right? And you're sort of continuously just working your way uphill. Um, at the end of the second day, uh, you, you uh, the caravan sets up camp just south of the Wormwood. And you guys, you know, you can see. Uh, this towering wall of heartwood trees off in the distance, right? Uh, and they're sort of tinted orange by the setting sun. Can't help feel a shiver of apprehension looking into the darkness between the trees. Uh, you know, you've heard all kinds of stories about this place. None of them really good. It's sort of generally considered that sane and sensible folk do not go into this place. Mm -hmm. um, when you guys sort of set up camp, Sarge basically directs all the wagons kind of into a, into a circle, right? And then, you know, the, you guys build your campfires in the center, and, you know, everyone just sort of does their thing. Um, is there anything you guys would like to do before you go into, you know, before you camp for the night? I mean, is there anyone you'd like to talk to? Um, just giving you a chance. It, you don't have to, you know. Um, I mean, we've just... Met each other in blisters. Yeah. So I mean, I, I, when you say we're traveling, is it mm -hmm. it's us five and these three? Right. Or so is there other people? No, no, no. There's like almost like a hundred. Oh, oh, right, right. Okay, yeah, a yeah. hundred okay. pilgrims, right? Those three are leading the group. Right. They're right at the front. Right. You guys are sort of in your own wagon. Uh, we sort of imagine that you guys, as you've been traveling here, you sort of met either along the way or in blisters a couple days before. Okay. Just struck up a, you know, a, a camaraderie. Um, you guys are definitely like, the the toughest, more most badass looking folk in the group. Uh, that were crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, a lot of yeah, a lot of the folks are are tradesmen, right? Uh, you know, worker types. You know, okay. there are some soldiery looking guys, right? But um, a lot of you know just civilians looking to, to to go to this place and sort of start a new life. Um. So if you guys are sort of sitting there around your campfire, um, Sarge sort of stumps over you guys. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> greets you. Good evening. Sarge. You look like a tough bunch. Hi, we are. You think you could do me a favor? Well, maybe. <laughs> so, you see, there, there's always a few fools on these trips that just they feel like stopping to smell the roses. You know, they just... I need somebody to keep... I need somebody to bring up the rear, somebody that's kind of tough, uh, you know, and to keep keep everybody moving. Uh, just just once, I'd like to reach the keep without losing half the caravan. I think you could do that for me. Half the caravan, you say? It's a dangerous place we're going into, lad. <clears throat> we could lose 50. <clears throat> Again, you never know. Oh. What what What's killed them in there? 
Uh-huh. Have you ever been to the Wormwood, son? <laughs> Dwarves <laughs> go in the Wormwood. Men go in the Wormwood. Orcs in the Wormwood. I've been Gavins in. Gavins in I've, the Wormwood. I've been in. I've Trolls been in. in the Wormwood. I've been in. 20 footers. I'm always pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I get out again and I don't know how. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, I'll have a drink before we get there. I'll make you one. I mean, you don't have to worry. I won't leave you. But I do need somebody to bring up the rear, just to keep things moving. You seem like the toughest lot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it, Serge. <laughs> keep the soft hands from ditching the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. You're going to, you're good. You guys, you, you, you lads are going to do great. Uh, you know, he offers some words of encouragement to other fo- folk around. Um, but, you know, you see, you hear him sort of stomp off. And, and you can hear, he, like, he's talking to people along the way, basically saying, look, you need to keep, keep up, right? Like, we can't let the caravan get separated. Uh, you know, this is a dangerous place. Like, no fucking around kind of a thing. Um, he tells some stories. He tells a story about this, this one fool human that uh, he knew that ate a warg dick to impress Yon Yon. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, and, you know what? A warg dick. <laughs> and uh, ended up getting some kind of weird disease. I can imagine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is a. He, he, he thought that would make Yon Yon like him, and Yon Yon just laughed at him. Um, <laughs> what is it? What's what? A warg? A warg? Yeah. It's, it's like a. Know, it's, 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 it's sort a of like wolf. a. Yeah. yeah, super wolf. They're in, more intelligent. They're bigger. Oh. Uh, goblins ride them. <clears throat> Got it. Yeah. Sort of like, you know, Lord of the Rings. Uh huh. Okay. Wargs. Wargs. All right. So, uh, if there's nothing you guys want to do uh, before you uh, go for it, I'd like to uh, inspect, inspect, uh, mm-hmm. m- meet, talk to the halflings, like okay. just like walk up to their dogs and be like, "Ah, what pretty dogs!" <laughs> okay, so ah, little puppies. All right, so you, you you walk up to the to the halflings, right? And they, they see you and they sort of stand up and I'm gonna give them like some food, like uh, of the dogs. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do an animal, uh, animal handling check. Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, seventeen. No, right. Seventeen right, the, the, plus okay. two, nineteen. The dogs seem seem um, you know well disposed towards you. They you know they wag their their stumpy little tails. Uh, I like pretty dogs. You know. <laughs> what bring you down here? I uh, more I guess. Oh, to the halfling, to the halflings. We're we're going we're going to to Valengard. We've we've heard that they need uh, skilled skilled people. Mm. And we are skilled. <laughs> mm. Skilled at what? Morag wants to know. We're, we're bakers. Uh. Bakers. Mm-hmm. Have you got any cake? That's fine. Any what? <laughs> cake, cake. <laughs> 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 well. You can see in the wagon over here, we've got all of our supplies. Oh, I'm just, there's, there's flour and stuff in there. Nah, nah. I'm going to root around on the thing. And I'm going, <laughs> uh, 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 could you please leave, uh, leave, makers. Our, leave our things alone? I want to lie to Morag, that's fine. Uh, uh, that's lying. fine. No, <laughs> I don't, we're not lying. Uh, oh, of course not. Oh, I've got <laughs> nice dogs, though. Of course. You need such, some kind of such big, fierce dogs. Protection. Three. Bakers. <laughs> I trust him. Ah. Ah. But yeah, I just want to like... It's, I it's kinda... fair. I mean, you guys don't know a lot about halflings. They tend to be kind of reclusive. So. Mm-hmm. Ah. I like poke at the flower and I'm like, look, they've got flour. Bakers have flour. <laughs> they, they, they sort of like look at each other. I just want to start like <clears throat> rooting through their... their Whatever You're fucking on. Yoda. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, was literally, oh, that is literally what was in my head. That was literally what was in my head. So I just like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. ma'am, please. Uh, 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 we need to we need to keep the the, uh, the, the, the food supplies, uh, you know, unsullied. Oh, no, unsullied. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Ingredients for bakers. <laughs> uh, Sir, we apologize. She's a little senile. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Do they have? Do, is there anything? Uh, is there anything about what's in their packs that is not what I would expect to find from a baker? Like, is there is there anything like obviously missing? Like, they're bakers, but they don't have pans or they don't have yeast. No, or no, whatever. they've they've got they've got, they've okay. got oh, okay. bakery okay. kind of yeah. stuff. Okay. Right? I mean, they're they're armed, right? Uh-huh. Um, 
they, you know, and of course they've got their orc hounds, yeah. right? But you know, their orc hounds have little side packs on them yeah. and stuff. Um, what, what kind of when you say armed, like what kind of? I don't know if you know like off the top of your daggers, head, like, kind shorts, of, yeah. you know, like yeah. simple yeah. arms. I'm gonna like poke at the short sword and be like, oh, such big ah, knives. Careful, for bakers. careful, it's sharp. Yeah, bakers need knives. <laughs> knives <laughs> for bakers. <laughs> we're going to a, we're going into a dangerous place, madam. Oh yeah, very dangerous. Yeah, very dangerous. <laughs> Why are they going into a dangerous place to bake? <laughs> well, they're question. going to Valengard, right? Valengard is we're going to Valengard. It's it's going to be a new civiliz a new nation. Mm. Get in on the ground floor. We make a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Nations need bakers. They do. <laughs> <laughs> so suspicious of those like, Anyway, they, they, they're a little confused as to like why you're giving them such a hard yeah, time. Just curious, just curious. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, can, can we offer you some tea? Yeah. Uh, Morag likes tea. Give her some. Oh. Give her some tea. Give her some. Give her some tea. <laughs> they they pour some pour some tea in. Well, yeah, drink the tea. Absolutely. Yeah. That's good. Does she fall asleep? <laughs> Almost immediately. <laughs> you see her, she's a slurper. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, she doesn't. I don't, I don't know. I, go, I like literally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's, it's fine tea. Ow, I'm <laughs> Well, then, um, I think we're, uh, we're you know, going to get off to bed. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, see I'll you in the morning. Go. I'll let him go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just, like, walk around, like, cackling to myself. <laughs> Bakers. Oh, so their dogs sort of, you know, are taken up. Uh, position around their their wagon, and they they hop in the back. And so do have, do we have to go at the back now because we agreed to do that? Is that like where we'd set up camp. That's what the sarge asked you to do. Um, I think we agreed, right? Yeah, and, we, we'll uh, help him and, out. Uh, and uh, Dag, yeah, Dag, Dag has said yes. Yeah. We're in. They're on. They're on board. They're on board. <laughs> I'm not letting him bail. Yeah, fair right. enough. Right on. Do we notice? Are there are there any of the hundred or so people that are in, not at the camp. I'm just gonna kind of like walk around. Like outside I'm gonna walk around the perimeter of the camp okay. and just just kind of okay. see if there's any evidence that there are people out in the woods not being mm-hmm. not being good caravan members, right. okay. stirring up shit. Um, all right, uh, make make a perception check. Perception. It's charisma. I have no charisma. Seven. Hmm. Uh, you don't really notice. Notice anything? Wait, what? Perceptions charisma? should be yeah. No, persuasion. Perceptions is perceptions wisdom. wisdom. Seven, nine. I still didn't make. Nine. Okay. Yeah, you don't. You don't really make numbers right now. Uh, out of the ordinary. I'm not very perceptive. Yeah. Uh, uh, is this where the uh, the hive indicator was ambushed? Is that no. his horse? No. Okay. No, he was. He was. Uh, you probably passed it on your way here, though. Um, it's like it. Like if you. I don't know if you looked at the map, like mm-hmm. the, the the wormwood sort of goes like like this, and there's a road that goes along the southern edge of it. It was it was there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can we uh, can we talk to Sarge a little bit more? Sure, sure. He's just sort of stomping around, you know, making. We'll sure just go. Uh, I'll just go talk to him and ask him uh, if they were attacked by minions of one eye. Is that what normally attacks them here? Minions are who? Fairly often, yes. Uh-huh. Uh, so one eye is, I guess, the goblin and orc oh, yeah, the goblinoid the... god. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, right. Right. yeah. Okay. The children of one eye, yeah, right? Okay. And that that includes that any one. goblins, you know, bugbears, hobgoblins. Uh, in my world, orcs are a goblinoid race, so they're included. You know, all that good stuff. Got it. Okay. Because I just wanted to verify that's what's in this forest. Well, there's we all kinds. There's all kinds of things in this forest, but yeah, I mean, the goblins are sort of like rats in this forest. Um, just no matter how many you kill, you can't just you just can't seem to wipe them out. Sneaky bastards too. Well, their blood will be spilled. That's why we no stragglers. Stragglers leave a breadcrumb. <clears throat> they eat them. Get closer to eating us. <laughs> And then we kill them. I like this. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then kill, and then we kill them. There will be plenty to kill you. Just run into. It. Sarge just nods his approval at, uh, at that sentiment and continues about stomping around. Keep up, up tomorrow. tomorrow. Camp in the Keep back. up tomorrow. One time. You know, <laughs> not gonna leave you. My, uh, your camp. We're not gonna all stay together. Yeah. Safety well, we in can, numbers. But I'm gonna be in the back. What are we said oh, it would be? Blimey. 
<coughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, well, well, let let me ask you a question. Are you guys riding in a wagon or are you riding horses? Ooh. Pretty much everyone's got a wagon and supplies, but I mean, it's it's up to you, really. Yeah. Would you rather have horses? Or... I don't know. We no. never decided. What do we want? I, think we I mean, I would I would assume that Morag probably has like a pony or something. Yeah, yeah. But she will hang out in or near. Um, if we mm-hmm. have a cart, then mm-hmm. yeah, you do. Yeah. All right. Sure. I would have probably like bartered passage on someone's cart or wagon or something. Mm-hmm. I'll just be like sleeping on, on a pile of hay or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Yisnor probably has some sort of brewing equipment that he had to bring with him. So that's true. Yeah. Your stuff's yeah. probably in that wagon. I have got a wagon. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kind mm-hmm. of all sorts of. Bottles and bird food. Bird f- no, it's all good. It's all good quality stuff. <laughs> oh, but you also have bird food. For your I might have a few uh, choice tinctures you could add to your uh, brew there if you want to spice it up a little bit. Uh, so I'll always try. I'll always um, try daggers. What's uh, what's everyone's passive perception? By the way, passive perception. Now you're throwing one at me. Uh, Eleven for me. It's ten plus your perception. So, so. oh, it's so the thirteen. Okay. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yours would be thirteen. Yeah. Uh, yep. Oh, there it is. There oh, it is. 14. All right. Passive perception. Yeah, 13. 12. All right. So, yeah, being from the forest, you feel at home here, right? And so you're more apt to notice things. You you uh you you hear some like one one sort of cart or well, I guess one campfire over from you guys, like there's one and then another one. Mm. Um you hear mm. some some uh these these two people arguing. Um they're humans. Uh, one of them is sort of a younger, uh, a younger guy, and then there's you know a bigger guy who might be his dad. And then there's like three or four more other um, humans sitting around the campfire. One of them is just sort of sitting there like this, and like the, they've got their their cowl pulled low and a big battle axe on their back. Um, but the the one that's talking to the young one is like, "You'll do it, and you won't argue." No, oh, I, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to. We we need to stay together. Listen to me, boy. They're just they're they're going back and forth. Okay, so it's like some sort of someone is trying to coerce the the, the younger one into doing something that they clearly don't want to do. That's uh, sure. I mean, that's well. I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm gonna keep an I'm gonna keep an ear open. Mm-hmm. Like like wh- where does this conversation go? Mm, okay, so you and the kids say, but. I can't go by myself. Yes, you can, and you will. Okay, that'll. I'm, I'm gonna hop off my hop off East Nor's little brewer supply cart and. Hey, uh, off to. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Where are you, you know. going? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we could have a drink. Pour, pour him. We'll be right back. All right. All right. See you in a bit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna trundle over to the to this conversation here, mm-hmm. and we say, unwise to go anywhere alone in the wormwood. I'm just gonna put straight butt into their conversation. Right. First of all, who am I? Who am I looking at here? Uh, like, as I walk up to them, like, <laughs> who is this? Just sort of fifteen <laughs> foot tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're 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 men, humans, right? They're they're not dressed particularly well, but they're not dressed poorly either. They've they've got like you know, uh, like well worn leather armor and mm. stuff like that. Um, not like super armed, except for the one in the center. Mm. Um. And you know the the young kid, you know he's he's got like some leather bits, but they don't look rich. They don't look like poppers, right? But they're aside from you guys, they're probably the ones. At least some of them are the ones that look the most capable in the group. All right. Oh. Um, but the one that was like talking talking to his uh you know younger counterpart. I don't believe this is any of your business, friend. I believe it's all of our business. This scrawny thing walks out of the wormwood alone. I've seen bugbears pull men's arms and legs off and pick them clean in between their teeth, <laughs> wave the clean bones around and throw them at their friends. But you needn't worry, because he's not going out into the wormwood by himself. Where's he going by himself? Doesn't sound like he wants to go. What? I, I don't need to answer any questions from you. Ah, oh, you do. We're in this together. <laughs> We're all heading to Valengard. You, like you see, like a couple of the guys lean back and you know put put their hands on their on their the hilt of their blade. Move along, friend. Oh, you don't scare me. All right. So at some point, you know, like at this point, 
the, the, the big one in the middle sort of pulls back the hood. Um, it's uh, Aragorn. And no. Uh, it, it's Strider. It's, it's probably one of the ugliest women you've ever seen. Um, she's real like, thin. Her teeth Even are, are black, right? Like big sort of black teeth. And she's just kind of, actually, I have a picture. Ooh. Meek. Where's she at? You've got like, a whole grid of like, look at this. You've got a whole bestiary there. Uh, yeah. Where is she? That's okay. awesome. There she is. That's what she is. Oh, yeah. She's a looker. And she sort of, you know, gives you this serious look. Best move along, friend. <clears throat> Can we hear this conversation or we just have a shot? I don't know. Noticing Did it. you follow him? Or are you watching him? I mean, I, d- he, 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 I asked him it's where he was far going far. and he just said, I'm pouring mm. a drink. I probably, actually, I probably think he's been a... It's been yeah, a while. I think I want to go check. Let's him go. Out. Yeah, mm-hmm. this fool. Eldos. I'm just gonna come on. Let's go check on him. I'm giving him the full court press. I'm just like, mm-hmm. what do you even want with this youngster here that you can't do yourself? <laughs> Look at the boy. He's terrified. Probably weighs. Give me a second. Fourteen pounds <laughs> and a half. Stop talking. Stop talking. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> he don't need time to think. think. He, lo- he looks to be about fifteen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I think, uh, well, we've probably arrived now. Yeah. Uh, Helldust and I. All right. So as you guys walk up, like, I'll go over the, the other guys sort of stand up, right? Mm. Like, oh, okay, you're bringing your boys, right? We, we got boys too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but the guy's like sort of put, puts his hand on, on the youngster's uh, chest and sort of pushes him back. This is my son, friend. I can tell him to do whatever I want. And it's none of your damn business. Move along. The kid's just sort of like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask the kid, what does he ask of your boy? <laughs> he gets a sort of <laughs> terrified look. He like looks at his dad, and looks over at the ugly chick, and looks at you. Oh, intimidate him. Intimidate him. <laughs> I'm going to intimidate him with a story of about how a uh, uh, warg like sucked a guy's guts out of his Oof. eye sockets. Close. That was a close one. I was like, oh, man, <laughs> well, the how is the sentence going to end? It's <laughs> got in the woods. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just wants to make sure that I, I get to Valengard. No matter what happens. No matter what happens, will you with us? Plenty will happen, boy, but we'll get you there. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> like the dad's like <laughs> satisfied hi right, what's all the hubbub about I'm trying to sleep on this cart over here ah yes yes move along we'll be quiet mm. very good everyone sort of like visibly relaxes <clears throat> also come by if you want to draft a grog this boy makes a mean drink oh yeah yeah come in come in you can have a beer if you like it'll be fine I've added a bit of toad milk to his brew Gives yeah. it a little extra kick where it counts. The, who you assu- the, the, the woman you assume is the leader sort of like pushes him down to sit down. We're fine, thank you. All right. Who be you? <laughs> <laughs> that was he kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. I think that's what she says. You're a nosy bastard, aren't you? <laughs> Please just leave us in peace. Go on now, daggers. Come on. I don't think. We're stirring up a little bit of trouble here. Let's go back and have brew. Come on. It's that stuff you did with your milk of toad or some other nonsense. <laughs> We're going to try that one, see how it works out. <laughs> come on, come on, guys. <laughs> Eldust, you'll have a drink with us, won't you? Nah. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll crumble my way back to the back to the beer wagon. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. As you're walking away, you hear like a little bit of light chuckling and... The, the leader puts her hood back on. The kids are sort of sitting there like. <laughs> <laughs> who's, dr- who's drinking then? Morag? Huh? Would you like, uh, I'd like to try one oh, of these? Uh, these Morag fine, knows. Morag fine knows. Fine ales. How... <laughs> no? Uh, no? How Morag about... knows how you got your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeast, yeast, nor. Neither yeast, nor malt, nor flavor, nor. <laughs> Hey, hey, don't listen to stories. People went blind. Fine, I know, but I've I've got better at brewing now. No? Yeah, right. P! P! How about you? I've forgotten your name. (laughs) (laughs) 
Ragnar. Oh, Ragnar, that's it. Uh, I'm going to walk away and report that uh, altercation to Sarge. <laughs> Oh, it's not. It's a, it's a, dag, hey, Daggers, it's just you and me, mate. We're just you and me. Well, we're just just strong, no, lad. No. Oh, okay. no, no, Nate, no. you two won't have drinks. Just me and uh, Daggers are having a bit of Milky Toad. That's what, that's what I'll call this one. Milky Toad. Here we go. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> hey, that's the Toad Milk. Oh, it's all right, that. It's all right, that, Daggers. Yeah, you're used to this. Um, Serge, you know, he's like, ah, uh, yeah. I've been keeping an eye on those ones. You best keep an eye on them too. They look like trouble. If uh, if the kid goes out, we'll stop him. Yeah, I guess we can keep an ear out, can't we? You stay with an ear shot, right? Because oh uh, no, he, he he had to walk like all the way across the, the camp. Mm-hmm. Oh, I meant uh, sorry, I meant the, oh yeah, they're they're within. They're like a, the yeah. next. I mean, they're caravan. talking a lot quieter now. Right, so we um, can't hear. We can make. We can't make it out. We can just see. If no, no. There's, yeah, well, I mean, look. There's a lot of people, uh, yeah, there, and they're all right. talking, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, there's yep. clanking of pots, and you know, um, baking. Bit of bacon. bacon. Yeah. Can we smell any bacon? <laughs> no, they don't have an oven. Uh, they, they need to build their oven like... when they get there. <laughs> they're hoping that they have it. So. Right. Right. All right. So, you all. So we. Of... Yeah, we all back together. We're all back at the camp. <clears throat> I'm, I've climbed up on top of your brewer's cart again. I'm just sort of like, I've got like a sort of a ratty blanket. And that's like my whole situation, just sort of yeah. s- sleeping out in the open air. You know what, lads and lasses? Back when I was in blisters in taverns, <laughs> there'd be a few people come in and talk <laughs> about Valengard to me. And you know what? It sounds like after it was discovered, was known, a few of the old historians <laughs> went searching to look for evidence of this place. Yeah. And they found it, you know. Uh-huh. They found it, yeah. Morag. Oh, yeah. What deep within find? deep within vaulted libraries, they found it. Proof of Valengard. And apparently, apparently, like, there was a old mi- an old mining town yeah. near here, yeah. southwest of Wormwood, where they used to mine for Mir- 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 Mirathor. I forgot what it is. Mithril. Mithril. <laughs> Mithril miners. <laughs> I had to look at my notes then. Uh, <laughs> It's the toad milk boy. Hey, bloody hell, it is strong, you know that, Daggers. <laughs> my eyes going a bit. Uh, and you know what? They had, a, they had an ancient keep, yeah. right? No one, no one could get the defences of this keep. They couldn't, couldn't get in there. Do you know why? Yeah. On top of this great big cliff, high as you like, sheer cliff, impenetrable, impenetrable cliff. But they could get in it. The only way that they think you could attack <gasps> it, birds. It were a great big green bird. It were a dragon. A great big green dragon. That's what finally did the keeping. Burnt it to the ground. No evidence of it. Green dragon's name. I'm going to have to look at this one. Abrakes. Did I say that right? Of course not. Green dragon. Burnt it to the ground. It's gone from history. And that's where we're headed towards. It'll be fun. The, the yeah. camp, the camp next to you, like <laughs> you notice that they're like, like listening to your story, like with wide eyes, like, oh, yeah. Oh no, don't worry. It's just tales and talking tavern. You don't need to worry ah, about it. Drunken green legend, green dragons. Who's ever heard of such nonsense? Do you, do you really think there's dragons? <clears throat> I mean, once upon a time, it was history. <laughs> hey, bloody hell, this stuff's strong. I'm gonna get my head down. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm done. Play us a nice dulcet tune to put us to sleep. Ah, uh, I'll go on then. Let's <laughs> 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 do a performance check, see if it's any good. <laughs> uh, what am I on here? Where's my, where's my perf- that's six. Oh, I like that. Hey, 19, so that's 15. <laughs> Gotta be a good one. 26. 26, even. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he's really good at the bagpipes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can't out daggers is out. Now yeah. you're gonna start to feel like oddly enough, these screeching instruments make a sound vaguely relaxing. Oh, they're all out. Oh, they're all out. Hey, it worked. Right. Uh hold up. I think we should keep watch on that sketchy group. <laughs> so that will alternate sleeping. Okay. If you're down. Yep. Let's do right it. On. Okay. Uh, so, so you guys keep watch. Oh, I'm out loud. You guys are you guys are you guys are watching the the, the humans that dag when you say the sketchy group that's what you're talking yeah. about right? okay yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the uh, black teeth woman and the kid yeah. that we gotta watch yeah. watch them 
<laughs> Thanks, Mark. Why, it's, why, it's, why, it's, it's only after it's only after it passed out, right? Yeah, we're just oh yeah, fucking drunk. Stone, yeah, they're, they're snoring. Stone is still snoring loudly. Fortunately, you guys aren't in the wormwood yet. You're about a mile out. Bloody toad milk. Not that bad things can't happen anyway. All right. So you guys hit the sack. That was that was fun. Uh, <laughs> and you wake up the next day into the third. This is the third day of your trip. And, you know, you guys get ready and you get all your shit together. And, you know, Sarge starts directing the wagons out. Um, you know, Yan Yan just sitting in the back of his wagon eating onions, looking dim. Um, and, uh, is, you know, as all the wagons sort of file out, right, you guys pull out into the rear and, and start heading up the hill. Is the kid still with the humans? Oh, good question. Yes. Okay. Yes. They look all right. I mean, you know, really. he's a, he's a, he looks like a kind of a surly, you know, uh, you know, self pitying teenager. Okay. Yeah, I am. The one who died. But yeah, they, they, uh, they don't, there's no more like yelling or, or, you know, those kind of like sort of openly visible art altercations as of yet. Okay. Throughout the morning. All right. All right. So, day three, uh, you pass into the perpetual gloom of the Wormwood. So, as soon as you pass its borders, like, the the, the landscape changes, like, dramatically, right? Um, what was once normal for us now is these gigantic trees with twisting roots, right? And the, the trail, it's, it's, like, impossibly twisty and turny, right? Mm. Not impossibly, but, you know. Uh, the wagons bounce along this rough and rutted twi- trail. Twail. Twail. Uh, twists and turns through the roots of the massive heartwood trees. There's steep switchbacks, deep hollows, right? I mean, like, if you guys didn't have a guy, it's like, shit, this is a, it's a sketchy place, right? Uh-huh. It's always kind of it's always kind of dark in here. Uh, not can't see dark, you know, but it's got that sort of, like, uh, deep sort of twilight feel all the time. Mm. Um, so as you go, uh, occasionally you pass a corpse along the road, uh, you know, or kind of like a dwarf corpse or just any old dwarf corpse, human corpse. Okay. I mean, it's not like every 10 feet, but oh. every once in a while you'll pass them. It just looks like some poor traveler who didn't make it in the last one, you know, the last trip for whatever reason. Uh, but when you do the silent, right, which are, uh, three wagons up, they like they stop their cart and they get out, you know, and sort of quickly go over and scoop up the remains, right? No matter how fucking hideous or disgusting it is, right? They, they seem completely nonplussed by any sort of carnage or... Because you know, a lot of these corpses are either, you know, bloated from being in the sun. Well, not in the sun, but, you know, bloated. Sure, yeah, being exposed to the elements. Being exposed to the elements. Some of them are chewed on. Actually, quite often they're chewed on, right? But they don't care. That's This is their job. That's what they do, right? Right, so yeah, they stop their wagon, they get out, they put they put put the corpses into the back of their corpse wagon, and then and then move along. Um, yeah. So, uh, anyways, as you guys go along, right, the wormwood sort of maintains this brooding silence. Um, it's very quiet in this in this wood. Uh, you can every once in a while you hear sort of creaking of the trees. You know, there's not a lot of wind in here, but there's wind sort of above the trees, way up there, and that sort of moves them a bit, and you just hear that, like, light, uh, you know, kind of creaking of wood and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's, it's weird. It's like, it's as if the entire forest is glaring at you, sort of waiting for the opportunity to pounce. Mm. And, you know, you start to notice, like, everyone's getting tense, you know? Uh, the sounds of the wagons bumping and creeping, creaking, it's, like, uncomfortably loud, right? Like, every time there's a big... <laughs> and she's no, rattling I'm, in the back. Like, all right, all right, Maura. Yeah. She's getting a bit nervous. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to soothe right, her are down. You, are you going to play? play? Okay. Oh, dear. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're right. Like, what is those bumps? Bloody bumps on road. It's not, it's not quiet anymore. No, yeah. Roll for initiative. <laughs> Roll for initiative. Roll for initiative. <laughs> Bag, it's bagpipe initiative. <laughs> what have I done? It's bagpipe initiative. Just roll. Roll. Are we attacking? The, are we attacked by bagpipes? Yeah. Nineteen. Yeah, you did well. And plus, yeah. Oh, yeah. Twenty-two. 
All right, so um, yeah, as soon as the, the, he starts squealing on the bagpipes, <laughs> like a bunch of people in the caravan are like, and you're shink, and you know, weapons come out and everything. Uh, after about a minute or so, like you realize, like it was nothing. Oh, good. I rolled a three. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's just jumpy. It was the noise of my bagpipes <laughs> that made possible. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> When there's less bumping, more rag, I'll play another tune. Well, you're really nervous, so you just... It's not <laughs> bumps. Uh, it's your nerve. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's bloody bumps. It's bloody bumps. Mm. Oh, bloody <laughs> wormwood. I don't right. like it here. But yeah, I mean, at this point, like, everyone is on edge. They're only talking in whispers, right? They're trying to be as quiet as possible. Which right. Which is pretty hard with these... <laughs> and bagpipes, yeah. Right. I get it. Uh, can I use my divine sense? Mm-hmm. That allows me to sense celestials, fiends, undead, uh, consecrated or desecrated uh, temples within 60 feet. Sure. Is there anything going on in the forest nearby us? Right. Not, well, wait, What? Say, say it again. 60 feet. 60 feet. No, no, what were the things you're checking for? Uh, celestials, fiends, undead, uh, consecrated or desecrated temples. No. No. no nothing of that <laughs> nature, right? I mean, you guys are, nah. you guys are way out in the middle of nowhere, right? There's like, as far as you can tell, these where you're at right now, no sign of civilization other than this rocky sort of rutted trail that you're bumping along. All right. uh, everyone make a perception check. Uh, let's cover that. That's yikes. Oh, that's a good one. Is that too well, I got a 19 plus 3, so 22. Oh, nice. Okay. I got a 22 as well. All mm-hmm. right. Actually, uh, I'm going to give you uh, advantage on perception checks while you're in the the, the forest. Oh, I see. Yeah, because I, I think you know you'd be in, in tuned. Yeah, but I mean you got a good score, so it doesn't matter. Just for future reference. Cool. Uh, all right. So three. A few things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't notice anything. What'd you get? I got uh, eleven. No. Oh, okay. So you do notice yeah. the, the two and the five are the same shape. You don't. You're not Try seeing any animals or birds. Oh, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. It's it's really it's weird. It's almost as if the forest is devoid of life, <laughs> other yeah. than the, the trees and the plants that are growing here. It just seems unsettlingly unsettlingly quiet. Oh. Um, nothing lives here. Nothing lives here. The forest eats it all. <laughs> but uh, if you rolled over a fifteen. Uh, far off, you can hear the screech of some great beast. It sounds like it's miles away, um, but it does not sound good. Ooh. Um, I'm not clear on the whole good bad thing. What? The- <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like- <laughs> okay, it doesn't sound mm-hmm. healthy. Um, oh, oh, okay. It doesn't sound like something that you want to meet. Got it. Could I? Could I make like a like a nature check to try and like see what kind of? Uh, there you go. That's an idea. What kind of a? Uh, like if, if it's absolutely a, uh, an animal noise that I would recognize. Go for it. Ooh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're not really sure. I mean, it could be anything. It could be a manticore. It could be a dragon. It could be a I a lion. Uh, you're sounds not, bad. You're not I'm, really sure. All right. <laughs> One. Um, <laughs> did I hear uh, that as well though? Because of my. Did you roll over a fifteen? Yeah. Then you did hear it. Okay. I might try and far off miles. I might try. I'm so curious. What's my nature? No. Pluses are nothing. Five. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, sounds like bloody bagpipes coming from over there. <laughs> you are. Forest plays tricks on you. You're convinced. Anything. You are convinced that it's a purple worm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, back no! Is it might be purple worm playing bagpipes? Ah, it's no worm, boy. It's a manticore being eaten by a purple worm. <laughs> hey, is it direction we're going though, right? Uh it sounded like like let's see, you're sort of heading north east, so it would be northwest. Oh, so it's away from where we're going. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, maybe. lateral. Okay. To your to your left. Okay. But far, mm-hmm. far enough that most people didn't. Right. Um, uh, did any of you roll over set 17? A couple did, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you also noticed that uh, Sergeant Heldruck seemed to have heard the screech. Mm. Uh, they're sort of yeah. talking quietly to themselves. Mm. Uh, but Yan Yan looks like he's falling asleep. Oh. Well, uh, Sarge, did you hear that noise? 
Do you, do you go up to the yeah, front yeah, of the caravan? Yeah, I've gone up. Yeah, I'm going go, to yeah. go with it. It's far. Well, so that's yeah, it's a hundred person caravan, and it's kind of it's going to take yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I noticed them that they, I noticed them that they yeah, were yeah. talking about. It, so yeah. I'm going to go over. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you go up. They're just sort of talking quietly. So do you hear that noise? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I heard it. What the bloody hell was it? I think it's, it might be a purple worm. <laughs> and I think it's a manticore being eaten by a purple worm. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded reptilian to me. Reptilian? Oh, yeah. Like a what? A big snake. <laughs> uh, Heldrex says, I, I don't know. I, it might be like a Braxis for all we know. Mm, dear. I don't know what that is. He just told us about it. It's all that thing. <laughs> he was drunk. It's the, it's the, yeah, it's the Agendre you explained to us. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. That was strong beer, that, wasn't it? No. When you toady milk. Sarge is like, no, it's not that. No. Oh, no. Sarge, 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 was, uh, the, 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 Sarge was TJ's the, character. Uh, the hill dwarf in the back of the wagon going, yon, yon. All right. Mm, anyway, he gives much info. Go on, daggers. Let's head back. Bloody useless, them three. Aye. All right. So the day passes without incident, surprisingly, mm. though not without plenty of tension in the caravan. Uh, where, uh, where are the humans? The humans? Yeah. They're uh, roughly, let's see here, they're maybe like five wagons up from you guys. Okay. Yeah. But they've been keeping to themselves since, since you guys sort of confronted them. Hmm. The behaving, I guess you could say. <laughs> Good. Um, where was I? All right, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but one of the things you, uh, you guys noticed as as the, the day has gone on is that Sarge was right, right? Like the the, the back four wagons are are kind of like trailing behind, but you know? yeah. Um, a lot of it is because every time you guys see a corpse, the silent got to stop their wagon. They get out, they gather it up, right? Uh, uh, and it's sort of making these last four wagons fall behind. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> next time they stop, then to get a corpse, let's have a word. Mm -hmm. Tell them we got to hurry up. Well, that's the thing. Like uh, you notice when you notice that, you also notice like the the the, the wagons in front of you, which you know they just have some. People that you haven't met yet, mostly dwarves. Mm -hmm. um, they're like clearly like they're talking to each other and like you know doing yeah, this kind of thing. Hurry up, kind of thing. And uh, but but none of them none of them seem to have the the guts to say anything. Oh, well, them. Mm. Um, well, good old dags over here. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> so, well, so so the thing that all of you would know, right, is that the silent like they're basically the 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 god of death's sort of children. On you know they're there to to to. Escort the dead to yeah, not God of Death in like an evil way. They're like right, right. They're not like as a, a, as a, like a, a force of nature yeah, kind of yeah. thing. Um, so they are treated with like great respect and given a wide berth. Uh, um, okay. People were kind of afraid of them, but they also don't want to piss them off because they want to make sure that they make it into the afterlife, right? And that's the silence yeah. job, right? To sort of perform those rituals and stuff like that. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna see none of these guys them. really want to fuck with them. I'm, I'm gonna run back up to Sarge and and. Mm -hmm. And ask and uh, and tell him to be like, Sarge, the the silent. We stop. They pick up. Okay, the... it's gonna take you a while to get there. All right, fine. Okay. I'll, All right. I'll oh. just run up there, man. How long is it? You run while? on your feet. Well, he's uh, you're oh, a yeah. fart. Uh, wait, uh, you're yeah. a druid of the forest. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, uh, okay. he gets to treat this train as. Don't you have some kind of like? You can't get. He can't get lost. Mm -hmm. And I think he uh, treats difficult terrain here as regular terrain. Okay, so you're gonna go through the woods. Oh uh, well, I didn't say that. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Go up the up the work. This is a this is a, a continually occurring thing, right? Mm -hmm. I just want to basically like. Actually, I I mean I probably don't even need to talk to the Sarge. Actually, like mm -hmm. uh, I I would just like tell the I, I would tell these carts to just work their way around mm -hmm. the silent and get in front. So basically, that like we would just be following you, you, the silent mm -hmm. guys. Okay, you, you okay? So the the one the 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 guys in front of you like. We can't look at this. Look at this trail. It's it's you know it it's too narrow. Do I have something. Can I do something about this? Hang on. So are you where where, where are you right now? Are you up there? Or are you with the silent? He's, uh, he's he's talking to one of the the wagons. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm talking to one of the wagons, trying to kind of uh, 
Oh, no, I thought I had something that I could like. Oh wait a minute! How move nature of things around? Is it like what's to the side of the trail? Is it just is it stuff we can just cut back enough? Yeah, room? well, yeah. I mean, it's it's very like kind of narrow and tight, and there's bushes and rocks and and uh, and you know, it's it's not like you can just pull off a nice side field and go around, right? It's 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 very tight. Is Valangar on that? No. Okay. No. The map has not been updated. <laughs> Partially because I'm not exactly sure how far into the wormwood I want. It. Fair enough. Like which hex it's in. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's so they, so basically, they, they can't get around. It's just, it's impossible. Well, impossible. Nothing's impossible. Right. But it's good. Mm. But it would take. Well, it would take. Some I don't time. know how Morag would say this, but you're. I'm still in the back. I'm doing. I'm doing our job. Well, you guys are fucking running around. So. We're not fucking. I'll wait till you guys get back to the back. Well, What's he just ran up a couple yeah. wagons. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. You know, yeah. I'm with you. And the, yeah. and the dwarf we're in there. Was, but I think I, I think, can't get yeah. around. Yeah, we're falling behind. Yeah, uh, I I don't even see the rest of the caravan anymore. Well, oh. we're here to protect you. Oh shit! You and the druid. So don't uh, worry. I'll just. Okay. You and the druid. You keep up with the silence. Go ahead. We protect the silent. The caravan, you move fast. We protect you. you want when you find the dead bodies, you get them ready for the silent. Uh, the silent come upon the dead bodies, and you've already got them packed up. You want us to do that? We'll be little body drones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, that could work. Keep things moving, wouldn't it? What, what more? Yeah. yeah, what more? I guess suggesting is that the two kind of lightly armored mobile characters mm-hmm. go ahead. Mm-hmm. And like when you find a dead body, you can you can you can scout ahead basically. Mm-hmm. And when you find a dead body, kind of package it up and get it ready for the for the silent. So the silent can just be like and pick it up, and they don't have to stop the thing. Yeah, let's also make sure that we get the other if like tonight. Let's make sure we get the other caravan guys up in front of the silent for tomorrow's journey. All right. And then we can stay in the right. back. So you guys, are, you, you, you two are going to wander out ahead. How far ahead are you going to wander? Miles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, keep in mind, like, I mean, these are ox carts. They move slow, but I mean, if you if you guys are going to like book it, right? Then you, yeah, you could get out ahead a, wit, a bit. But you know, I mean, it's not like you walking and the ox carts moving is going to. This is way better than my escorting carts to the forest adventure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I would say, yeah, and it could tell. I, I would say not not so far as to be out of uh, like earshot or like hundred yards. Yeah, y- hundred yeah. yards. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, not hundred yards. So a football field. How mm-hmm. long does it take right. to package up the body? Uh, it takes them. I mean, they, they do it fairly quick. It takes them maybe a minute or two. Right. Sometimes they got to like search through the bushes for parts. <laughs> parts. Um, Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's yeah. not like they don't. They're not. They're not in a hurry, right? Like they they do this yeah, very a ritual, irreverently, right? And and it, you know it doesn't it doesn't matter, right? Like the living are not their concern. Uh, mm-hmm. They they don't even like seem to notice the shit around them, right? In terms of like the fact that all of you guys behind oh. them are like fucking go. <laughs> Actually, why don't we just get? Why don't they just go at the very back? Well, that's here. That's a, that's well. <laughs> that is silent. When we so when you said when we next camp up, we could rearrange of them maybe. Well, we got we can't, we let, can't them let them fall behind. Yeah, I do. We give a shit about him. Yes, it's a, yes. <laughs> it's a literary <laughs> job we signed up for. We said, hey, we're not going to let anybody fall behind. Yeah, but the silent can fall behind a bit, can't they? Yeah, <clears throat> they're just mopping up the dead as it is. Don't uh, matter if they're late. What if you die? No one's no one's. You might be me, sad like. that the silent aren't there to <laughs> escort your soul to the <clears throat> afterlife. No. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Do, oh, yeah, there you yeah. go. Do, do what you would do. <laughs> well, they're the ones having to clean up the okay, mess. So you I'm staying gonna, on wagon yeah, with Morag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is, that, is that a reasonable suggestion based on what Morag's seen? That that they could in some way kind of prepackage the corpses? Or is it so highly ritualized that... No, no. Anything? I mean, it, I mean, like, if... Yeah, because like I said, sometimes, like, they notice them in the bushes, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I mean, like on the trip so far, they've probably stopped for about like seven crabs, right? right? And we're talking like uh, you guys are almost a day into the into the wormwood, right? Do we have any idea how many days it's going to take to get to Valengar? Uh You never asked Sarge. That's true. 
I think uh, <laughs> they, 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 prob- they probably <laughs> told you at some point. It's like <laughs> four or five days, depending on you know. All oh, right, and what we're what in, happens? We're a day in, right? Is that what you're saying? No, no, you're uh, you're on your third day. Oh, oh, right. Third day in the wormwood. Yeah. Okay. Well, third day on on the road. So it's right. five first Total. first day. I see. In the wormwood. And ha- so we haven't yet camped. This is going to be the first night in the wormwood. Yes. Right. And there's no there's no as far as I can tell, just looking around. Mm-hmm. There's no. This isn't going to be like last night's camp. We're going to basically be camping on the trail. Right. So uh, we have to stop on the road. Well, I mean, not, unless there's a clearing. In, unless there's a clearing there's somewhere a clearing. up ahead. Oh, got it. Um, yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I'm also gonna. I'm gonna. Matt pass. thinks there is because Matt's done this before, but Matt doesn't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Pass Without Trace over myself mm-hmm. and Hell Dust. Okay. So. Uh, What's that do? Uh, makes them hard to track. Yeah, it's a it's a concentration spell. Um, <clears throat> only lasts an hour, but I can I can do it a few times at least. Mm-hmm. It'll you know, it's something. It basically just makes us like. <clears throat> it, it gives us a, a plus ten bonus to uh, stealth checks. Okay. And uh, we can't be tracked except by magical means. Although there is a uh, caravan behind us, but <laughs> so, uh, so you guys, so, so you guys, we're wander we're off we're being discreet. Yeah, fair enough. That, that's cool. By magical means. Um. Yeah, and and sure enough, like <clears throat> probably like late afternoon, you, you you spot some poor unfortunate soul that that didn't make it. Um. You know, it looks like something has been at it. You know, maybe some sort of animal, right? It's it's you know, it, it's rib cage, guts gone, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Gnawing on the, gnawing nice. of limbs. Nice. You know, it's it's a, it's a pretty gruesome sight. Is um, it freshly dead, or has it been? Uh, yeah. I mean, fresh enough that if an animal happens upon it or in any time soon, they'll probably still, okay. you know, nom on it. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, no, but, uh, <laughs> yon yon on it. Yeah, yeah. Yon, yon. <laughs> yon yon. Um, but you know, not like oh, this happened today. I mean, it's, it's more than likely maybe like a week. It's been out here. Mm. Uh, so, anyways, uh, you guys, you get you get your hands dirty. Yep, let's do it. Yeah. Right. Uh, I just actually before I go, I'm probably I might cast enhanced ability on one of them and give them a bull strength. So it's just mm. if they've got to lift up something, a big body. Uh, what does it do? It uh, it doubles their ca- carrying capacity. So the target has a well. They, then they have advantage on strength checks as well, and mm-hmm. then they can double it. So. Uh, you know, uh, it's a touch spell. He's got twenty yeah, strength. He's, uh, he's like, yeah, she's she's already like fucking. Oh, yeah, super that's it. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, it's you a, daggers. Sorry, he's a feeble, he's a feeble druid. <laughs> Think. Hey. <laughs> you got the strength of a bull now, daggers. Now go and get those bodies shifted. I don't feel this strong since I was a wee boy of fifty. I'll have a, <laughs> I'll have a nice brew for you ready when we get done with this job. All right, so uh, both of you make a con check. Con. Yeah, I bet it's that's yeah. So you're just gonna roll your twenty and add your constitution modifier. Uh which class is one of your stats. Yeah. So eleven. Eleven? Thirteen. All right. You you're both good. It reeks. I mean, you know, it's the smell of a Ooh. of a week long rotting corpse. I can do something about that. Um but uh you, you guys you guys have experienced death before. Just as just as a, a mild pleasantry. Mm-hmm. I can uh, <laughs> mild pleasantry. I'll use my I'll use my druid craft to mm-hmm. like I'll just like wave my hands over a patch of dirt mm-hmm. and a few little blossoms. I keep sort of getting your druid. I don't know. Poke out of the uh, <laughs> poke out of the dirt and it you know gives us a bit of a a bit of a you know a break from the Potbury. aroma of decomposition. There's a little bit of a you know a, a fresh okay. All right. All fresh right. woodsy right. smell. Okay, so yeah, you you, you see him like. You know, do something, and and all of a sudden, like some little flowers go. <laughs> um, it doesn't really get rid of the smell, but you know, hey, it looks a bit. It nice. looks pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you guys just sort of pull whatever you you see there, you know, off closer to the side, so that they can they can get yeah. it easier. Get it, Unless you're going to carry get it, back. it grouped up. No, I think we're just going to like just sort of make it so that it's all like because it sounds like the. The inter- well, I, I mean, I guess we could just like carry it back. I don't know. You're both strong. Yeah, you're extra strong. Can, now. Could one person carry it without the other person 
You could carry it easy. Yes. Yeah. Well, then I mean, it's not. Well, it's I, like, I've got. It's like half. <laughs> you got it works. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, you're gonna get get some on you, but uh, you know. Yeah. Hell dust doesn't care. About yeah. It. All right. Hey, I, my, <laughs> all right. So you see, my, I'm the just third person person. <laughs> pick this thing up, and you know, it's ugh, it's hideous, but you know, uh, she doesn't seem to care. She's like, yeah. All right. Uh, and you know, right about the time you do that, you can hear like down the trail the rattling of the caravan sort of catching up and uh yeah i mean you 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 walk back and uh the silent sort of they stop their cart and they get out and they walk over to you and and i will okay here's here's the no i'm this <laughs> and they take it they don't they don't look at you they don't say anything they just they they take it and they put it back in the back of the corpse cart which is getting pretty whiffy at this point um, the corpse cart. Yeah, they, yeah. They, don't, they don't seem to mind. I love their second album. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, they get back in the wagon and, and you guys continue on. So it did speed things up? Yes. Yeah, it yeah. worked. It, it took um, a minute rather than like five minutes. Yeah. 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 That's not bad. Mm-hmm. All right. But I mean, yeah, I mean, like, you, 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 it's up to you guys how you feel about this, but I mean, you, you, you've fallen behind. Like you don't, you don't know how far the rest of the caravan is. Um, Wait, well, who's falling behind? What? Y- you guys have all fallen behind. We fallen behind the, the main the caravan. Silent in yeah. what? Like four two other carts. The silent, and then okay. two carts mm-hmm. between you, and then your cart. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys aren't quite sure how far, but like you can't hear the rest of the caravan. Wow, well, it's silent and calm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, it's it's getting towards dusk, right? And it gets dark earlier in the in the wormwood because, of course, the sunlight can't really get in here. So it's it's starting to get dark. Uh, and as it gets dark, this is the first signs of life sort of start to to spring up, right? Um, uh, let's see here. Yeah, as the light fades, the forest comes alive with all kinds of strange sounds. Mm. Um, everybody make a perception check. I say we land this spaceship on this dead planet and go investigate the crash spaceship. <laughs> 14. Goddamn. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, I rolled a 15 plus 3, 18. <clears throat> 23. Right. 14. Nice. Okay. So, pass. Four. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. More eggs old. Oh, yeah. More eggs smart, but she's not. She needs like yeah, a she's got one horn. big milky eye. She's got. She needs like one of those horns. I actually went. Uh, I actually went online to see if I could find a, a milky white contact lens. Oh, nice. And the answer is yes, but not and get it delivered here in time. Wow. Um, she let me know. I have some. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. I should have thought of that. them. I should have. Oh, yeah, the, the Halloween right. party. The Halloween yeah, party. Halloween ones. Yeah. I should have thought of that. I knew that. All right. So uh, the, the top was twenty five. You said. Uh, All right, twenty something, wasn't it? So yeah, sure enough, like you know, as, as the light fades, you, like uh, the forest comes alive. You start to hear an animal sounds. Crows, in particular, uh, you know, the sort of crows are starting to gather in the branches, uh, you know, along the road as you know you guys are going along. Oh, um, like they look hungry, like mmm, mm-hmm. you know, yummy. I have a speak with animals spell. Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> Interesting. Can I talk to the crows? Okay, let, 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 let me describe this, and then, okay. and then we'll do that. Okay. Um, that should be interesting. Uh, you you can hear some uh, very soft rustling in the ground foliage uh, along along the, uh, the the roads as well. You have, you have spouts. Um, you have one spout. And then the last thing you notice, which is the really weird thing, right, is uh, these vo- the crows' sort of vocalizations. They come in like these odd patterns, like not natural patterns, right? Too rhythmic. To, um, mm. you know, it almost seems like there's some form of communication happening. Morse code. Yeah. Mm. It's crow code. <laughs> crow code. I don't like these crows. Something mighty unnatural. No, I'm making a rock, bloody yeah. racket. I still want. So as you guys go up the trail, right? Like the crows seem to get thicker and, mm. and gather more, right? And again, you. Like this is weird, right? Like these crows are making they're making crow sounds, but they're they, like I said, they're in these weird sort of of, of patterns. Oh, and, and, oh, wait a minute! And uh, all of a sudden, you hear a cry, ah! 
and and one of the dwarves poof, falls out of the wagon in front of you with mm. an arrow sticking out of his neck. Mm. Near. <laughs> and it's initiative. Sorry. Do we have to add your uh, your bonus, break. Justin? Do we have to oh, make have space a, for the bonus to initiative? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, I think you it's just three, so it's okay. Cool. Oh, pardon me, but <laughs> I'm moving the moving the tactical cameras. Oh, cool. I don't Very imagine. Many. I don't imagine the bullshit. Oh. People. I'm bush. That's the worst kind of bush. I know. <laughs> yeah, so Look. if you can flatten it out, flatten it out nicely. You guys are either Man. in and around this cart right here. I know. Look, look at this, mate. I know, right? Uh, do, you want to, do you want to get so, it on the? Billy do a bit better. Oh, no, it's yeah. Pretty, well, is it good? We can try to straighten it out a little bit for it. Yeah. Which, yeah. So let's pull. You you look at the camera and tell me which way you want me to pull. Actually, uh, that's that's uh, pretty straight. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. Uh, oh shit! I, did I apologize for the crudity of the model. It's. <laughs> didn't have time to <laughs> paint it or build it to scale. <laughs> oh wait, are we? Still, we actually want to pull it that way a little bit uh, toward you guys. We're going this way. Okay. Toward them. Right the tab. That's it. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, that is pretty good. All right, I'll stick this on there. So I never got to fuck with the dad one cameras. Before. Are Dag and I still by the silent? Are we back? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys can decide where you are. Yeah, I think we would we would have been up up here still. Like right, yeah, me. Hmm. Actually, Who says that? You, Lars. That's me. <laughs> well, I guess we would have been we would have been brewing up. Wait, what the. I'd oh, that's the dead brewing one. Up here, yeah. somewhere on the car. Sorry. Here, go ahead and put me and you at the back, brewing with, up with the with the you two assholes in the back. <laughs> that's right. You heard me. Put these guys in the wagon. <laughs> and these are the silent. Put them in yeah, the wagon. Actually, let me. I think we got graves. I'm trying to remember which one's my minion. Oh, we're one with blowing a horn. Yeah. Hey, it's, uh, Tommy, it's Tommy you. Sharp. You've got. Mm. Oh, I fuck off. Yeah, that's it. Ooh. I had it set up for the. Did there you? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's all right. right. So, is that the? I see there's that. The, that's the guy who fell out. That's the guy who fell out. Yeah, see, he's got arrows. With an arrow, yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Arrow murdered. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's see here. Uh, I, I remember the talking crows. I remember the codes. I didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> That's good. Go ahead. Um, okay, so. Uh, I played this game before. <laughs> what? Um, yeah. Let me do some initiative rules here. Some. Am I the only person here who was in the first, who was in the Rugar group? Yeah, I am. You know that. Yep. I forgot. So for me, you know, because Tom, other other Tom, was, other Tom, other Tom was, and so when we were talking about it, I was like, "Oh, that'd be cool." But why is there a fucking Grim Reaper? <laughs> the silence. That's the silence. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah those yeah. are the silence. <laughs> it's three silence. There's only robed-looking guys. Graves. Like Get it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. It's mm. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, God damn, there's a bunch of dwarves out here. Uh, let's see. You can always need so did you? Oh, you're doing some stuff. Did you did you make this or did you buy it? Yeah. So Phil, no, this Phil designed cool. this in I assume Photoshop. Yeah, it's Photoshop. And just took it to uh, like Staples or some shit to get it printed out. No, right? actually, uh, we have a, have a, big a printer at work right. that we, that uh, one of the guys uses for printing out like big block schedules and stuff. Oh like yeah, that. okay. Turns out it works pretty good for this stuff. That's cool. Um, yeah. As long as it's under thirty six inches. Yeah. So Phil just makes this shit. He did one for the um, last campaign we ran that was amazing. Yeah, this is really cool. <coughs> I know, I know. <laughs> listen, Excellent. listen, pro writer, pro writer. Not, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not artist, yeah. Not artist, That's not true, artist, you can't draw. No, no. no. Funny you had a, I'm not the artist. Funny you had an artist. If only we had a full time artist. That'd fuck. be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, imagine yeah. some cool shit they could do. What the fuck is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's useless. <laughs> he didn't even color in the character. Did no, he didn't. No. Oh, he did. Yeah. No, he didn't color it. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, so. He didn't draw your parrot, though. That's so. true, no parrot. How could he? All right. He didn't say it's a big Okay, so. The crows are all around, right? They're up in the trees and all over the place, right? Making just all kinds of racket. Um, you can't really see where that arrow came from. Um, so you guys rolled initiative. What what did you roll? 
Uh, I have a 17. Okay. Wait, didn't I roll? Right here. I don't know if you did or didn't. I don't think I did. All right. Uh, I rolled a 15 I I plus I 3, 18. You rolled a 17? 17. Okay. I rolled a 9. 9. 8. 8. 5. Big, Look at that. Big time. <laughs> cool. All right, so there's our order. Hell does is such a cool fucking name. Thank you. As opposed to, let's see what the name. Don't is. get. That's it. You can see your eyes looking at it. I know. Like that. Well, I left the most important part of his name off the card, so that's fine. You still have my first name. Brewmaster. Brewmaster. Broom. That's right. It's a brewmaster. Yeah. Yes. Broom. He starts with the broom. 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 Right bender. So. Right bender. Yeastnor, if you want to try to figure out where that arrow came, you're gonna have to make a perception check. I am bloody well do. I know. Uh, perception. So these are these are escarpments leading. So the, yes, I those assume, are like yeah. So there's like it's up. So yeah, getting getting from here to here is climbing. Yep, right? yep. Same thing on the other side. So you guys yeah. are in a bit of a, a oh, valley. Actually, and you also color graded it. So the darker or green it is, the higher up it is. Yeah, yeah. That's the. That's idea. fucking cool. Um, uh, yeah. The uh, it is itself evidently. This is a pure white. And yeah. This is super green, and this is higher up. We so the it. roots are difficult terrain. I love it. Uh, the bushes are obviously difficult terrain. The the tree stumps are actually trees. Like there's no. So they block. Yeah, they block. They're they're all the way and up. There's not a lot of gigantic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the bushes are obviously difficult terrain, and also you can't see through them. And then the rocks are. We're fucked. The rocks are big we enough can't that, see shit. that you yeah. can. It would be like, uh, you know. A, it's an ambush. I want to say soft cover, but half. Cover or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's half cover. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. half cover plus two. Okay, uh, plus two should... to enemy ACs. Uh, I'm gonna roll for my perception. Do it. Eighteen plus three is twenty-one. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, I remember what I was looking for. Looking for my map. It shows me where these fuckers Just are. Uh, See, I don't think I've been to the Wormwood before, so I don't think I know it. I don't think. Like I think. You... Well, you traveled through it. I must have to get. I must. To. I must have to get from stone. Oh, I stone wall. Stormwall, Stormwall. Yeah. Uh, I think Yon-Yon you'll, you'll be good in this fight. Oh, really? You'll still have that bull string. Yeah, because he was the one you guys found and you saved him Take. from the wargs. Uh, oh, no, I meant Morag. Oh, Morag. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you meant uh, no, no, no. your last character. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's see here. You've got a good score. So you see this fucker. You do. I do. Yeah, yeah you do. Voodoo. Uh, you see this guy hiding in the uh, it's this, you, you can see his head sort of poking out of the bushes. Uh, he's got this sort of grayish green pallor, long nose, and the nose is like black on the end, like he's dipped it in ink. Mm. Um, and uh, he's got a short bow. Fucking right. Well, I'm going to fucking fire at him. I've got a cross. I'm sure he's the only bad guy. <laughs> I'm still going to fire at him. <laughs> you take one down. I'm saying, yeah. Go. All right. Yeah, go for it. Uh, well, what, what I've got to get used to different characters now. I've got a uh, crossbow. There we go. Light. Uh, I know the right way to do this is to do a perception versus stealth roll off, but I don't, I don't want to. It's crossbow. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Crossbow, uh, or plus four to hit. So, yeah. 18. Yeah. Uh, Quite angry, though. Yeah, that hits. All right, that's a 1d8 plus two. Where's the old d8? That's it there. Seven, eight, nine <laughs> damage. Nine. Okay, cool. So, uh, cool. so yeah, you guys, you guys uh, see uh, Yi Snor sort of pull out his crossbow and and it disappears into this bush right here. And this guy goes, you hear this kind of, you know, choke, and he and he falls down, lands in the. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Got the bastard. Wait, you got him in one shot? Ah, How much damage you do? Yi Snor, don't mess around with crossbow. Guess not. <laughs> 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 There might be more of them. Well, that'll teach that bastard what for. <laughs> Onwards! <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 everything's fine. Put bloody map away. Yeah, let's put the map away. <laughs> so, our, uh, yeah, I, we haven't acted yet. Okay, fair enough. I yeah. did nine. Yeah, well, I actually did. That's, 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 so, the good news is they're going to be easy to kill. The bad news is there's going to be a shitload of them. <laughs> when we don't know where the others are. All right, so um, let's see here. There's meta, always more meta, orcs in the meta, wormwood. Meta. Oh. Meta. Did I recognize what it was? I don't know. It was a person, right? It was a hu- human? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I had a let's long nose. See here. 
Oh, was it a goblin? It was a goblin. Okay, yeah. Really? Goblins? Okay. Right. Oh, we, can all, we can all see the dead body now. <clears throat> okay. Um, Helldust, you hear a... <laughs> as a arrow goes whizzing past your ear and thunks into the side of the hill okay. uh, next to you. Uh, but does not hit, fortunately. All right, right. Ragna. All right, so I'm going to yell for the other dwarves to tell them to take cover, and that will slay these children to one eye, and I'm going to go into the fucking bushes. So okay. I need to remember I have 25, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, All right. Uh, let's see here. What you got to do? You got to get in there. Did All you right. Did you use your action for something? Uh, Not yet. I'm going to see if I see right. anything. In the, okay. okay. I just yelled to the, to the rest of the caravan and told them to take cover in the... So make a perception check. 15 plus 3. So 18. Nice. Oh, probably. Okay. Um, you are standing as you like sort of tromp up the hill. A little bit of uh, like bark sort of like falls on the ground in front of you and like hits your armor. Uh, and you look up and you see this ugly little son of a bitch up in the, up in the <laughs> branches like, you know getting ready to shoot down but uh you saw him uh i'm not in range to hit though right uh he's up in the tree okay am i near the um the base of the tree yes uh i'm gonna kick the tree really hard and try to knock him out shake it down okay well the very dwarf thing here. to do oh it's over that way yeah okay then off the yeah, here let me put a guy his legs are 15 feet long. <laughs> <laughs> Put his feet off. When would I have noticed him? Actually, uh, actually, I guess I guess the bark would not have hit you, but you heard, you would have heard it behind. You heard it fall down. Yeah. Then I'll go toward him instead with my movement and kick the tree. Okay, so you wade into the bushes. Yeah. So do you want me to do an athletics check or um, attack at the tree or? Um, what are you What are you attempting to do to the tree? I'm trying to shake him out of the tree, so I'm just kind of trying to slam into it to get him to fall down. Is it is the tree small enough for that? It's. It, I mean, that's actual size, right? Yeah. So oh, really? that seems the crazy. Trunk of it's like, like yeah. 10, ten feet. Oh, you yeah. kick him. <laughs> yeah. Kick him. You break your foot. <laughs> I don't have anything ranged, so yeah. Yeah. Her, no, of course not. It's cowardly. Like that it's cowardly to, to use ranged weapons. I like for him. Oh, yeah. I don't call upon your patron god to strike the tree with lightning. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't Have think the Forge on? Father does that. Um, Hit the tree with a big hammer? Yeah, I mean, that would be cool. <laughs> That's a melee. I guess I gotta try to climb the tree. Alright. It's not gonna be great. But. He is about, oh, I wanna say. 15 feet up. Okay. Uh, well, this is going to be using my second movement to uh, okay. to get up. All right. Uh, so yeah. So I don't have to roll anything. I don't make it up the tree. No, you just you, you try, but like the bark falls off. And yeah, you're just like, get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a nine. If it was athletics. Okay. Okay, uh, do we have any, like, mar markers? Or, uh, yeah, I'll get Like little gems or something? That well, I, you want markers or do you want... Like, just little things that oh, I can... Oh, like uh, pente pieces or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If not, it's I can uh, use dice, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of dice over mm -hmm. here. A bunch here. Hang in a there's a whole ton of red D4s you can use. Okay, I'll use them. I have no idea where those came from. Those are... Well, they were the they health, were the potion health potions. Things, right? Yeah, they're in my health potions. Oh, that's right. Health potions. Health uh, they don't seem to want to come out. Are they a little, little like teardrop? Well, you can bring them back if they're better. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I can hear the whole time. Oh, Ooh, what's oh that? yeah, the, the go field. Oh, sweets. Oh, jeez. I gotta let you. There's Velcro on the bottom, it looks like. What is it? Is it just you and It's a uh, go. So do the Velcro on the well, bottom. Well, I don't know. 
No, she's in her room. Oh, good effort. <laughs> ah, yes, perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. What you got? All right. Uh, what are these? I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Patience. Need some help, Slime, you, sir. Slime. It's uh, what was it? Russet mold. I want one. At each, one of these at each group. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, Tanglefoot bags or some shit. Anyone within 10 feet of those, uh, make that's a dex check. Uh-oh. I think that's everybody. Not me. Well, Ooh. everybody who counts. Ooh. Yep. So, 18. Real bad. Mm. <sighs> this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I get plus one of the dex. So I got a two. A two? Eighteen. Okay, 18. Matt? Uh, I got a four. Okay. OD? Uh, plus 16. Okay. Uh, I'm far away. Oh, yeah, you're far yeah. away. Okay, so, uh, you guys basically, like, you hear some rustling in the bushes, and these little, like, round things come out, and when they hit the ground, they poof, right? And, uh, because it's dark, uh, if you did not save, which you saved... And you don't got to worry about it. And you saved sixteen. Uh, you're you're, you're bl temporarily blind. <laughs> ah, it's like ah, big, big flash. You're right next to me, aren't you? Big flash. Ah, happens. What the hell? Ah, All right. So all right. Uh, uh, let me let me tell you real quick how this this these ones work. Uh, right. Uh, on a failed save, the target is blinded until the end of the next turn. Uh, any targets with night vision lose this ability for one d four turns. Ooh. So. Until the end of your next turn, you're blind, uh, and then after that you can roll a d4, and you just don't have night vision. Our dark vision goes away for some number of rounds. A certain number mm. of rounds. Yeah, exactly. Ouch. All right. Um, I'm not. I'm just going to say that these guys are all blind. They weren't expecting it. Uh, Including the silent as well. <laughs> they got it right. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah they, they're they're like you. <laughs> uh, in the wind. You, just, you managed to. You guys managed to close your eyes or look away just at the right time, and, and you, you know, you just heard. Um, just uh, I want to see more. Right. Guys. Ah. You hear like you, you, you hear just some some like like <laughs> and some, you know s snivelly giggling in the bushes. direction. Can we get direction. Uh, it seems to be coming from both sides. Okay. Mm. All right. Flashbacks. They're using flashbacks. <laughs> okay, so there's. Let's see here. That guy went. Okay, so this guy is going to take a shot with oh, the I'll, short bow I'll at, the... at um, Ragna. Come at me. <laughs> <laughs> and it just it reflects off of your shoulder, your shoulder pauldron, and does no damage. <clears throat> Uh, I yell at him to get out of the tree, coward. <laughs> yeah, go down. I just want to talk. He's when you do that, no, he sort goblin. Of sneers at you. I'm gonna crush his skull. Yeah. Um, let's see. That guy uh, went. The wolf's that done. guy went. Absolutely. That, I love a nice goblin. Um. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, one of the dwarves in that second wagon. Mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, let's see where's that guy? At? Uh, the red one. This one? Yeah, he he falls out. <laughs> he's got an arrow sticking out of his back. Oof. Okay, no. Can't tell if he's dead. He just fell out. Did they listen to take no, no. cover? He, he's got an arrow in him. Yeah, but where are they gonna take cover? Oh, the wagons aren't up at all. Uh, a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so then that guy went. That guy did not go. He is going to go after Morag. Mm. Although Morag doesn't know it. Uh, let's see here. 
18 hits. Correct. <laughs> yeah. 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 It hits me twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, seven damage. Dead. Um, yeah. Ooh. So you, you, you girl. <laughs> more action. I don't feel great. <laughs> oh, you do it. You just got to hit <laughs> the arrow. <laughs> arrows! Goblin arrows! Okay. And that guy has not. Current hit points. Well, this guy is <clears throat> going to shoot. This guy will shoot at uh, Yeastnor. Wait, uh, actually, yeah, I can't. I can't. I didn't know that was happening, so there really isn't anything I can do about it. No, you're blind. Isn't yeah, it doesn't seem reasonable. <laughs> Miss me? Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, Hell dust. It is your turn. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can't can roll see? for yeah perception. Yes, you can. Hmm. Ooh, so I get a nineteen. Sweet. Okay, so uh, on the hill to your left, uh, oh, wait. right at the right at the end of the the the, the cliff mm-hmm. towards me. Oh, right in that in that bush right there. Mm-hmm. This one. No, or this one. That Big one. Bump. Yeah, you 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 see like some rustling and and I don't know, a, a little bow sort of like uh, poke out of the. Um, I have javelins. All right. So I'm going to... Fuck yeah. Javelin. Yeah, right. They're going to be a little bit harder to hit, but that's not something you worry about. That's something you worry about. I picked the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Can see a damn thing. So... Oh, wait. Let, me put a, let me put a guy down. Uh, yeah. Oh, do you get blinded as well? Because you've spotted All right. him. Oh. <laughs> right there. Yep. yep. There he is. One of the cool things about like running on fantasy grounds is that you have individual control over who can see what. Yeah, that's so you point. can you can make it so only Justin can so Justin has to be uh, like he's over here and he has to actually uh, use yeah. his words to describe it's really mm-hmm. neat. Anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, that roll is... d twenty and add seven. I think. So that's nine, seven, sixteen. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, well, maybe not because sixteen. Have, you said they have yep. cover. And that, that, that misses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You hear it like. It's because of the, the bushes. It's because of the cover. They're probably like uh, AC. Okay. They're probably normally like AC fifteen or whatever. And now they're like AC seventeen. So you can attack uh, and move, Justin. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On your okay. turn. So well, then I'm going to move. I can move twenty five. Yeah. So that should be five squares. Five squares. Right, yeah. Does and you can move through your friends. Do I? Oh, okay. You can move through. Yeah. But you just can't end in their space. Yeah. And going up here is going to cost extra movement. Right. Going I'm around. I'm going to go around, this wouldn't. way. So yeah. Um, does, does diagonal count? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, diagonal counts as one. It is a non-Euclidean universe. <laughs> There's no Pythagorean theorem in this reality. Mm. Cool. Do that. Do you, do That's you, right. We only have 25 feet of movement. Yeah. Well, yeah we're well, well, do, do you just yeah, have one like, attack? I th- don't barbarians have. Not, not four level five. Not four uh, level. Yeah, uh, yeah. kept at level four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We're lucky he let us be level four. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, third we're not going to be third yeah, level. Third level. We don't be dead now. Right? <laughs> yeah, I would be. <laughs> All right, uh, Morag. Uh, you were blind, but I am blind, and there's nothing I can do about that. It's going to wear off on its own. Um, I am going to. Drum my fingers on the table. I'm gonna cast invisibility. Oh, okay. Okay. All of a sudden, uh, who, who's in the cart with her? You, Me. You look. Do you, you look? And bloody hell! Where the hell did Morag go? <laughs> Steve, Morag's gone again. <laughs> yep. Just you just heard like a little. And hey there, Morag. Yeah, I fumble around in my pouch and I pull out a an eyelash mm-hmm. and uh, I apply it to my eye. And as soon as I'm done applying it to the eye, I open the eye and <laughs> I'm gone. Nice. Mm. Okay. Uh, dag. All right. I'm going to try to. You can to... still hear me and smell me, though. Mm, I thought so. What the hell? What I want to do is basically, like, just by sound, uh-huh. try to follow uh, Hell Dust okay. down the trail. Because I, okay. I can't see. I can't see a blasted thing right now. Right on. Yeah. You heard, you, you heard her oh, trudging. I so I can. I, <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I just, like, left. follow Yeah, you left right it behind. Behind. Sure. All right. So I'm gonna <laughs> when I when I catch up, I'm gonna clap a hand on Helldust's shoulder and say, "Get up there and give him what for." I'm gonna cast Spider Climb on oh, Helldust. Nice. All right. So what that does is so you've never experienced any sensation like this before, uh, as far, far as like like you might not have even seen magic, uh, but um, 
yeah, you, you feel him touch the, the back of, you know, the back of your shoulder, and this, like, weird sort of sensation goes through your body, and all of a sudden, like, your hands feel kind of sticky, mm-hmm. and your feet feel kind of, like, sticky. Uh, you gain the ability to move up, down, and across vertical surfaces and upside down along ceilings uh, while leaving your hands free. You also gain a climbing speed equal to your walking speed, so you don't lose any movement uh, or any oh, extra yeah. movement by climbing up uh, those escarpments. That's fucking cool. So, so it's up to you. Give him hell. If you've never seen magic, Drunk. it's up to you, and it's up to you how you uh, how you react to the sensation. How I react to the sensation. Climb like a spider. I think I'm a very calm. Hell dust. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Sure, I think <laughs> I think I'm okay. Okay, but, so you, yeah. you see the inherent advantages of yes. what has just happened to you and mm-hmm. put it together quickly and you I mean, yeah, okay, cool. Uh all right. Uh it is eight forty one. Do you guys want to take our break? Up to you. I'm, You're the DM. I'm good with that. Are you yeah. uh, do you feel like oh man, I need a break? I'd like to get a drink. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's why I, did, I already did that. Yeah. All right. yeah. I cheated. All right. I already took my break. We will be right. Well, about, about 13 minutes, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Mm. Woohoo! We're back! We're back! Oh, yeah! Bloody hell. <laughs> All right. So we're in the middle of this that's your, battle. That's your, that's your Australian accent, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good eye. That'd be bloody hell. <laughs> All right. So you guys have been ambushed by... A uh, bunch of black nosed goblins. Black nosed goblins, that's what they are. <clears throat> are you uh, not the most loathsome of my goblins? Uh, that's what I picture when you talk about this guy's nose, is mm-hmm. that guy, that one goblin. Yep. Uh, okay, so we were back to the top. Yeast Nor. What do you got? <laughs> Yeast. That was pretty effective. <clears throat> so I could yeah. see the commotion going on there between uh, old, what's his name again? <clears throat> Ray Bands and the. Yeah, you, you, you saw, you. you 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 saw him like try to scramble up the tree. Uh, <laughs> dwarves, great at climbing. Yeah, not it's so a, I don't, it especially well, dwarves and heavy armor. But I don't see I don't see the thing up the tree. Uh, I well, turn to you and I yell. There's a bloody. No, I, I, I think <laughs> <laughs> you, turn him, you turn him and you yell. Well, he started talking for me, so. <laughs> yeah, you. Okay. I have it in Costello. What did he say? He yelled. <laughs> you have it in Costello. Go ahead, roll d twenty. 18. Yeah, you, yeah you, 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 he's like, ah, and you look up and you see you see the little fucker up there like, <laughs> I'm going to cross, crossbow him again. Uh. Oh, well, assume I hit. What was it? What was the other? <laughs> I lost a bit of pain for it. What are you doing? I haven't. I? What are you trying to do? I've lost one. What are you trying to do? I want to crossbow him, but I Just shoot, a... just roll a d20. Okay. You missed. I'm definitely <laughs> missed, yeah. <laughs> you, don't need, you, don't need, you don't need your sheet. <laughs> you you, you, you rolled a two. I've lost one. Did you put it in your stuff? Probably, yeah. Hmm. All right. Uh, I saw one that said yeast nor brewmaster. It was spelled so badly, I thought it couldn't be right, so I threw it out. <laughs> Shut up. Is that it? For yeast? Oh, uh. Is he going to move? Do anything? I wonder if it's worth. Uh, don't know, really. He got shot up there. I, smell, I know he got shot, but I don't know who shot him. I wonder if I could sort of maybe have a look and try and nudge out some people here for one, two, three, four. We could come up here and see if there's something in here, right? Yeah. I'm going to ch- 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 leave okay. behind Morag. I think she's unblinded. She's, un- oh, she's invisible. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's she's right. invisible. Yeah, invisible. They can't see me. Oh, yeah. So I'm coming up here to see if I can see anyone. Uh, do I need to roll again for that? Or if there's anyone lurking in this bush? Uh yeah, go ahead and go ahead and roll. I'll, I'll give you uh, one one sort of roll a turn. You can put it wherever you want. <laughs> you don't see shit. Yeah, he has improved his rolling by <laughs> negative one. <laughs> oh, there it is it's on the floor. Yeah, it's kind of dark out here. Uh, it's, yeah, it takes I, a little while for your night vision. I fumble my way up there towards a bush and you just... tripped over some rocks and oh bloody hell! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, All a right. good turn. Uh, okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, so where'd my, where'd my little thing in my bobber go? Here we go. Hold oh, purpose. No, wait, invisibility. Uh, 
All right, could you put this guy right there? In this little opening? Yep. Ooh, oh, yeah. <gasps> All right. Ooh. So you guys see this sort that of like, right. like... Big goblin. <laughs> big, yeah, yeah, <laughs> big goblin. I mean, it's not WYSIWYG, but... Yeah, bigger than the others, right? He's got all these like, grizzly totems <laughs> like hanging off of his uh, off of his uh, breastplate, and uh, you know he he screams some sort of unintelligible. I don't. Does anyone speak goblin? Oh fuck no! Uh, I barely I speak. No. All right. So you you hear him say, "Kill them! Kill them all!" And he basically. Like, it's just to clarify, you said that orc and goblin are the same thing in your world, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, ours is gaming the languages. <laughs> It's just dialect. There, we there are differences with their type. There are differences in enemy. dialect. I get it, yeah. It's wise to know your enemy. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, some some depending on these guys, you've probably had more experience with than say like forks or dialect. Might be a little bit weird, mm -hmm. you know. But we should like get way shorter chairs. All right. So we're playing dwarves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, we're all like. Yeah. All right. This guy is gonna. <laughs> he he, he like, has his like, his bow and he's gonna take a shot at. Uh, Whoever the, the big red cape is there. Uh, that's uh, daggers. Yeah, that's me. Dagger, 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 dagger. Am I, am I still blind, or is that the end of that round? Uh, start your turn ended. No, you're not blind anymore. Okay. Your, your night vision is is going to be out for uh, a certain amount of time. This is fucking cool, Phil. Thanks for doing this, man. I just feel hugely inspired. My pleasure. Uh, I believe he misses with a 12. 12 misses. Okay. Yeah. So it's thunk yeah. into this. Uh, Briar bark shield that I've got. Okay, and then uh, move him back into that bush. Just take right. him off the board for now. Oh, off the board. Okay, he like kind of moves into the bush, and you can still see the bush moving around and stuff. But you know, he's he's trying to hide. Mm. He rolled really bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. oh, he rolled bad. All right, Ragnar. <clears throat> All right, so do I need to make a check to try to climb this again? If you oh. want to climb that tree, <laughs> yes, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, in my uh, rage of seeing goblinoids, I forgot that I had javelins. Oh, okay. Because I went and looked at what a paladin gets in their pack, and they do a oh. range thing. Mm. Uh, so I'm going to throw a javelin, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm is that a five or two? I think that's a two. <laughs> that's two. I'm not going to matter, man. <laughs> well, well, no, I have, a, I have a plus six. Okay. So yeah. I don't know how high their AC is, but uh, I'll, say, no, it's that's a I'll say it's a two. You hear it sail off into the tree and clatter off the bushes, or clatter off the branches, fall down something. Like that. <clears throat> <laughs> he missed. <laughs> <laughs> I angrily <didn't really laughs> kicked the tree. <laughs> still, still trying to knock him down. What's, what's up with your die? Let me see your die. Okay. Uh, the twos and the right, fives are the same shape. So oh, which is which? They didn't do the little dot. This is like a funky rune die or some shit. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, they're, well, they're the exact same. Well, what the fuck? That's a two. Yeah. Uh, that, this is this is so. I now feel like I don't. I forget what a two looks like. Here's yeah, a better way to like, look, look at it. Like, look at this right here. Go. What is what does it do in the fire? What does a two look like? <laughs> That is odd. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like an R. It does. <laughs> it, is, it is an R, basically. Okay. R. So, R. 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 two arrows, one from this guy and one from somewhere in here, go out. Uh, and one of them thunks into the side of, of the wagon. The other one thunks into this guy's chest and he falls out of the wagon. Ah, with a scream. Ah! Mm -mm. Oh, Jesus. Mm. God, Sarge is getting pissed at us. <laughs> yeah, we ever see them so The good news is we saved the carts. The bad news is we they, don't, they didn't come with doors. <laughs> okay, um, that guy, uh, the one that's visible there, he sees um, uh, Helldust coming at him, and he's like, "Oh, <laughs> uh, he Helldust gets uh, fuck him up. twenty uh, one, twenty one uh, that hits, I believe. Yeah, yes. nineteen. What is it? And Dry you sink? take uh, an arrow, sort of scathes your side. Yeah, like then. barbarians get to add Full. two of their stats. Oh, man. They're not wearing armor. 40 it's already hit that. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, there's another one. Okay, another arrow some, somewhere over here funks into their, oh. their cart. They really don't like those guys. For no, that's a fucking Justin Cherry. Okay. 
and gold. It's gold and black. Gold and oh yeah, it matches. Mm. <laughs> I'm having a hell this <laughs> Okay, Morag is invisible. The two arrows from somewhere around here. Mm. Both of them missed. <laughs> And okay, okay, two more arrows from somewhere over here. Shoot at this this wagon wow. again. Uh, one of the guys takes an arrow. Right, Are him. these guys dead? That guy is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and the other one sort of slams into the, the side. Of, and this guy's like. Fucking losing his mind. Hey, I oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's just dying around him. <laughs> You'll be all right. You'll be fine. Uh, all right, that's <laughs> that's it for them. <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, Hell dust. All right. Um, I'm going to spider climb mm-hmm. up to this guy. Okay. I don't want to bring Dag with me here. No, oh, wait. Don't forget. Wait. Mm-hmm. wait, wait. That's fine. Okay. That's right, because I have this. I'm not. Uh, yeah, you're, you're. I don't have to. You're in the bushes with him, but you know, he's he's there. You can see him. <clears throat> and I'm like, going to. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I'm going to uh, try hitting him with my great axe. Yes. Rage. rage. Now we're talking. Rage. 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 Oh, rage. I got a. Are you raging? A twenty-five, I guess. That's yeah. that's yep. good. Yeah. All right. So then, that is a. Twelve. It's the big one. This one? No, no, this, this is a one. one yeah. Okay. Ooh, D twelve, nice. Oh, no! so I got a six. Six damage. Yeah. Are you raging? No. It's a bonus action. You can do it for free. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Then. What does the rage get? Get plus you? two damage. Plus two melee. Damage. Oh, and, but but also it does. Oh yeah, it does. But also now he's half damage from all their shit. Oh, nice. Of bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, or whatever. Okay. So you guys see uh, held us sort of scramble up the, the sort of unnaturally scramble up the uh, up the <laughs> cliff and sort of dive into the bushes, and the next thing you know is you sort of see this like like string of goo kind of come flying out of the bushes and you just hear oh dead yeah no oh, nice. nice. <laughs> sweet got him I'll tell you that <laughs> that was nice okay. I, I want to howl. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh! <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> There's a werewolf in there with us. Hmm. Where, where, werewolf. Yeah. Werewolf. Werewolf. Their castle. Which would, would uh, roll an intimidate check? Uh, oh shit! Uh, there are other goblins in here that can see it. Uh, oh, it was on fourteen. Uh, five. Five. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not on today. All right, Morag. <laughs> Warm with goblins, they'd be used to. You uh, <laughs> managed to cl- clear your eyes. Your night vision's a little bit off, but uh, but you can see. Is there a, a laser pointer? Uh, in another another one down there? Because uh, I think we got a couple of them in your in your door in your door in front of you, maybe. Oh, but you're sorry, on earthquake. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Uh, so I've got twenty five feet of movement, um, and they can't see me. So. Oh man, this is the one I've been using. Uh, so if I'm here, mm-hmm. that's this square. So five, ten is an eight cost to get out of the car. Nah. Ten, nah, you just 15, out. 20, 25. I'm just going to go over here and like that's. And. <laughs> I can spell Morag. I'm going uh, <laughs> to. Is that, is that you? Yeah. You're fucking bagpiping yeah. madman. Yeah. I'm going to. Um, What's that bloody smell? Can I. Do I have to be in the bushes to search the bushes? No, I mean I'm just, I'm just letting you guys do perception checks to see if you can spot any kind of movement or. Uh, or... I'm going to try and kind of stealthily move into the bush. So it's going to be, I guess my stealth. I, I, I'm going to convert my. I'm going to use my action to move, but I'm going to move. I, I move half my movement because I'm moving stealthily. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not very stealthy. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not very good at that. I don't. Think. Well, you're invisible though. I I that's true, but they might mm-hmm. hear me or some shit. Oh, well, um, roll your stealth. Yeah, see what you get. Sixteen. That's pretty good. Okay, you so, can you can. So I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use my uh, 
my action to move. That was my movement. I used my action move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. Oh, it's, it's difficult terrain there, right? Mm -hmm. Was I here? Mm -hmm. right so 5, 10, 15. I guess that'll be it. That'll be that's as far as I can get moving half my speed. Okay. So and you move in I there. I just want to know if I see anything in here. I'm sort of a quasi metagaming the notion that once I'm in the bush, mm -hmm. it would be easier to see what's in the bush. And indeed it is. Mm. Oh, look no, at that. He, he seems uh, to have no idea that you're there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I can't wait to see what he does to fucking Eastnor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got no... Well, you, I, you can't see him. I can smell you, though. You can smell me. Yeah, I know you came in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dag. Yeah, that, that big cloud is not coming you, out of my are, hand. Are you, are you done? Uh, yes, that's a move and then a move. Okay. So on, on your turn... You can move an act. So you can see again. Oh, I see. Or you, can, okay. you, you can move. You can move an act, um, and you can, as they used to say, you can split, move, and fire. You can take your action anytime you want. So if you have twenty-five feet of movement, which is can five I? squares, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. From where I'm standing, you can here, go. Can I tell the, I'm that move this guy is, is he like injured? Is he unconscious? Is, or is he like that guy? Uh, and he's one of the things dead. you can yep. do as an action mm -hmm. is move. Mm. Oh, so you could go. What I just did was I went move, 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 and then I used my action to move again. Okay. Can I can I see this guy well enough to tell if he's dead? They're, they're all so these guys are just like <laughs> no no uh, maybe uh, you have to check them. Those two are definitely dead. If only we had a healer. Okay. Um, oh, yes. No, no. We're we're all healers. <laughs> I'm not. I've got to get up and touch. I'm him. not a healer. That guy has a, had had an arrow protruding. All of us aren't healers. <laughs> so I've got two wounds. So, so also not looking good. <laughs> no no the, the second one that you asked if you could. Oh I see. Right, he's okay. got an arrow protruding from the yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to scan this mm -hmm. this ridge up here and see if I can see any uh, okay. any movement. Which, which ridge? Just okay. uh, this this crest up here. All right. Go ahead. Roll your... That's a 17 plus some stuff. I think it's 17 plus 4. OD is a Christmas Sorry, hand. I'm still kind of figuring this thing out. What does that mean? A, a, a big, a big <laughs> yeah, ham. You see, you want <laughs> a, a big ham. So you, want the, the, you see the slightest bit of movement in the bushes there. Oh, <laughs> you see this this big black tipped nose kind of point oh, okay. out and beady little eyes sort of looking around. All right. So. Ooh. Oh, he's all the way out there. Yeah. Sorry, I'm still still getting used to uh, d and Beyond, so this might take me sorry just an extra second or two okay um i've got i think five more feet of movement or whatever but i'm gonna uh flail my hand in the direction of the rustling in that bush mm -hmm. and a, a little shard of ice will fly okay uh, in that guy's direction um <clears throat> <coughs> oh, and that's a, that's actually a spell attack. Sweet. Okay. That's a 11 plus 6, so 17 to hit. All right, you hit. All right, he takes a d10. He takes uh, 4 damage. Mm -hmm. um, and then this, this shard of ice hits him and pff, it explodes in like like a little mini ice grenade. Mm -hmm. um, and so he and any anyone within five feet of him, mm -hmm. if there are, I can't see them, of course, but mm -hmm. uh, he and anyone within five feet needs to make a dex save okay. against a uh, DC 14. Uh, he makes it. Okay. So four damage, you said? Yep, four damage. Okay, so you hear him. Uh, Oh, I got one. But it, but he kind of like he just sort of like duck seems to duck down. There's not any sort of obvious sign that you've killed him. You're not sure. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, a palpable hit. All right, Reese, you snore. Back to you. Uh, do I see? Do I know that guy's there? No. Uh, <laughs> not. Sure not as of yet. <laughs> you hear more. I go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can see him. He's like holding, like super still. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> uh, well, I tell you what, though, because I've 
smell more, eh? You know? and I'm like, maybe something's going on here. So I just come, just going to make another perception check, right? Am, right? Yeah, go for it. Uh, 18. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, 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 you smell her and you sort of look and just ever so slightly through the, through the opening in the bushes, you can see like, um, like crude bits of goblin armor. Uh, is that what you do? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I right. turn around. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what should we do? What should we do? Uh, oh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? I'll turn around and I'm going to do use vicious mockery. It's kind of vicious mockery and surprise, right? So I just turn around and go, bloody hell, fire! You fucking ugly git! <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I think yes, this <laughs> you've got to succeed on a wisdom saving. Like, right, hey, thank you. <laughs> or take one. Oh, it's not very good. One d four psychic damage. Uh, what was the, What was the score? Uh, what do I have to save against? Oh, what is that now? Uh, Wiz twelve. He makes it. Ah. Is this on your character sheet somewhere? Yeah, yeah. I was just reading this spell okay. out. It doesn't have the whole spell on it. Got it. Uh, sort of sneers some other some goblin insult back at you. Okay, I have. Yeah, I think you totally saved everything. He gets nothing. You just heard me swear at him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like be surprised, swear at him, and uh, oh, I haven't moved, have I? No, you have not. Uh, I guess he's right next to me. So if I did move, could he get an attack? He get an attack of opportunity, unless you got something to prevent that. I don't think I have. Um, That's all right. He's probably not going to attack you after you said all those words. <laughs> well, he's probably, yeah. Well, it depends what more went more and she's right down there. Uh, I'm going to. Actually, do you know what? Was there another arrow came from over here? We said earlier, didn't we? Maybe it's just that one. Is this guy, how's this guy looking at you? Was this guy uh, dead or that I... guy? He's still moving. Mm. I'm gonna go down towards him. Okay, that's that's a rock. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I guess that rock is still moving. Is that next to him? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And just kind of yeah. you stepped around the rock right. unless you want to climb over it. Yeah, I'll just step around it right. and just sort of look, check on him. Um, actually, have I got anything that could make him better? Do I want to make? Do I want to? You're bard. Yeah, let's make him better, right? Uh, just if he only fire up those backpacks. Oh, it didn't hurt that much. Just a tiny arrow. I can't really do that, can I? Yeah, mm. Some of all red. Oh, that's not right. Uh, oh, it's only inspiration. I don't think I can because I've used I've used a cantrip. I've got nothing really I can do. To make him better right now, because I've used my spell, haven't I? Mm. But my cantrip was my action. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, you guys still see a whole lot of like movement in those bushes over there. These ones? No, no, no. Where, where, remember where, where the, the big guy was? Oh, the big guy, guy was. Mm. I've had, I, I mean, there's no way. Yeah, I'm, I'll give him a shot. What's it? I was, I was gonna, I was gonna describe to the players what I'm trying to do, but there's no way they would know that. So fuck it. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, he's he's clearly having a difficult time being stealthy for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> he's not rolling very well, I'd imagine, <laughs> behind that screen. Um, one, actually, two. Hold on a second. Yeah. Oh my god. I just rolled three ones in a row. Yeah, happens. Oh, I mean, wow. It happens. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that was that. He He's clearly trying to get somewhere and he's a little further this way in we the bushes. Yeah. yeah. We don't know where. All right. R Ragna. Uh, since I'm struggling to hit the old tree guy. Ragna. Ragna. You might as well I'm have a little to, go uh, climbing. I'm going to use my channel divinity to put a. Uh, Bow of enmity on this guy, so I get advantage okay. for the next minute against him. Okay, and hope that I roll better. Where are my d20s? So... Is, is is your name Dag or is it short for something? Dagmar. Is it Dagmar? Yeah. Oh, or Dagmar. 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 Daggers. 
<laughs> All right, well, 20 definitely hits. Dagmar Briar. Oh. Yes, it does. Uh, so I'm throwing a javelin. It's a D6 plus 6. <laughs> I don't know if that's a 5. Oh, no. Uh, is it an R? Because that's a 2. <laughs> well, they're both R's. You know what? Fuck this. Is it the, is it <laughs> those are banned. Is it the Batman Archer? Right. Hey, uh, 6 plus six, 6, 12 damage. Okay. <clears throat> so you, you're like really frustrated and mm-hmm. you just you hurl your javelin and it basically just goes <laughs> like <clears throat> in the bottom and up the top of his skull and he just <laughs> yeah, falls out of the tree. Girl, bye. <laughs> <clears throat> and he tumbles down the cliff here and lands in the road. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Brains <clears throat> leaking out the top of his head, and then I charge out here <gasps> and <laughs> scream, "Fight me, cowards!" Okay. <clears throat> right next to me. Yeah, <laughs> and the dying guy. <laughs> I run out there and I scream. <laughs> yeah, I scream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fresh. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Ooh. Are there only two groups of bad guys? Is that what we're seeing here in the initiative? Oh, I should have done it. Uh, there is the, the the boss. Got it. And, and then, the, and then the, the, the minions. Yeah. The little monkey fuckers. <laughs> monkey fuckers, exactly. All right. So that guy that you just shot at, uh, he he like he pokes up out of the out of the, the bush. <laughs> Let's go. Uh this 15 hit. Oh, a 15 hits. Uh, and I think just Ray, I, yeah, Ray painted these. Ray painted these goblins. Thanks, Ray. Well, uh, five damage. <laughs> Not Ray Bandor. No, okay. <laughs> these are just these are just standard arrow damage. Yep, yep. And it wouldn't look black hafted. Right, Ray Bandor. Ray Bandor. Yeah. He sort of sneers. For good like, reason. <laughs> uh, okay, that uh, I just is, snap yeah. the arrow off and. Throw it down. Oh, so I was being silly. Did you get hurt? Who? It's a scratch. <laughs> there, who's that behind the rock there again? Uh, that's, that's you. This is that's you right me. Here. Okay. Yeah, that's you snow. What's your? Oh. Okay. Um, you feel a slight prick in your back. Blimey. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been looking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. And you take eight damage Ooh. from an arrow in the back. Ouch. Ouch. That's eight damage from a little prick. Uh-huh. I hate to see. I hate to see that. <laughs> anyway. Is there a double there a All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're critical by me. <laughs> so let's see here. That guy. Which guy? The one. This, the this one, dude? Yeah. He shot me, right? Bushmaster. No, no, no. Oh. So it came. It, it came. It came from over here somewhere. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, it's well, something else over there. Yeah. Um, How many gobbos have we killed? Just two, right? Uh, this three, one, the, three. three. Okay. Yep. There's a shitload more here. I guarantee you. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think what that guy would do. So when you left, he interpreted that as you running away from him. You're fucking scared. So he he plunges out of the bushes after you. Oh. Hops up on the <laughs> hops up on the rock there to s- s- try to s- slice you with his. Quit, uh, quit. Skimitar. <laughs> I just want to see something cool. That was. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> that is stinking invisible one. Crit. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Bloody hell. I told you. Snicker snap. I should have really called it with a fucking git. <laughs> is, that, is that Mike picking me up? Uh, Talk git. Uh, 11 damage. Crit. Crit, crit, crit. 11? Yep. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Yeah. Uh, he sort of like, you know, does this, you know, sort of taunting, you know, screech at you. Mm. Uh, and then he jumps down off off of the, the rock. And uh, let's see, that was one, two, three, four. You're going to get an attack four. opportunity on this guy. Uh-uh. Oh, no, because he's a gobbo. He can just do this. Oh, really? He's a skirmisher. He disappears back into the bushes. You hear a cackling uh, female dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a uh, nimble escape. <laughs> okay, I would think. And take a disengage or hide action. There's that, a yeah. bonus action on each of those. Okay, fine. Nimble but escape. You go back in the bushes. Ah, that's what uh, coppers got, right? Nimble yep. something? Yeah, mm-hmm. nimble yep. escape. Uh, okay, so. Uh, Ouch. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, get rid of those dice. Fortunately. 
I'm glad I didn't spend all that money on them. Uh, so Indeed. two arrows fly out Somebody. of that sort of big Let's bushy area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, thunk into the, the silence, the silence. Uh, corpse wagon. Ooh. No. Good. So that means slowing us down. Well, look, yeah. Mm. It's just it's already the corpse wagon. You can't get any more corpse wagon. Right, than the corpse yeah. wagon. So we can just leave them there. Mm. And another one whistles past your head from oh. somewhere over there by that big tree. Somewhere thing. over here by this big tree. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Um the silent are going to move. They Where do you want them? One, two, three, four, five, six, one there. Oh, I see what's happening here. Uh huh. And I'll guess one here. Yep. Come yep. rain or sleet or snow or arrow. But this guy's kind of hanging on. Uh huh. This one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, right next to that. Uh huh. And they, you know, they they start they just do their job. Scurry over and start doing their job. Mm hmm. Heedless of the danger. <clears throat> Noble work they do. Um, a bit morbid. That's, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Held us, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. All right. First, I want to do a perception check. Uh, that is a 17. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. No worries. So let's see here. Are there any? Okay, so uh, you know that that one's there yes. still. Uh, and when that arrow went whizzing by, you sort of turned around and looked, and you saw one of the sneaky little bastards duck behind. Where'd my little pointer go? Behind a big branch up in the tree. Oh, he's in the oh, tree. He's in the tree. Yeah, he's in the tree. They're in the trees. Oh. It's coming. Well, I still have the rage, mm -hmm. and the rage gives me a dash action. Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to move and dash to this dude. Okay. Um, Was that? I'm not sure how dash works. It's double you, your. Oh, nice. Move. You don't okay. actually need to. I don't. Yeah, Just, you can. You can get there. Well, you can't move no, to the tree. Can, you, have to, you have to go around. You can move in front of the tree. Standing, you're, Basically, you could end up here, here with your so own, yeah, five, with your own movement. Here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, yeah. and now you're adjacent, and none of this is difficult terrain. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, yeah the roots right. are difficult terrain, but that, it, the, that one's so like, halfway. He's in, here. Halfway it's, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter if he's here. Is five, ten, fifteen, right. twenty. Yep. No difficult. Do I still have the spider climb, or is that only one? Spider climb. Yeah, you still got the spider climb too. So I guess I don't. Oh, does spider climbing ignore difficult terrain? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm stupid. You could uh, just and, sticky. Like you could straight up run up the side of the tree, as if it were flat ground. Uh, oh, that's I cool. See. Um, okay. and I'm gonna try and hit this <coughs> yeah. with my great axe. Yeah, my great right. axe yeah. out. Hassan yeah. chop. Uh, so I got a thirteen. Thirteen does not hit. Swipe he sees you coming. He's like. He sort of like does this like little sneaky goblin uh, sidestep, and your axe thunks into the dirt next to him. <laughs> well, uh, uh, unless you did, you have anything else? Uh, I didn't use my dash because I just moved. So, uh, the do I have to dash towards? I, I'm. You can move wherever you want. Yeah. If you move okay. away from that guy, he's going to get a free attack on you, though. Yeah. Uh, but he gets that. That's true. But his eagle thing gives him gives them a uh, disadvantage oh, okay. if they try to hit him. Yeah. With attack of opportunity. So I'm going to dash. Where are you trying to get to? I just want to get away from him, so he has to move. Well, he's probably a ranged attack. Oh, that's true. So I guess never mind. Yeah. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thought. It's, All a, right. it's a good thought. It's yeah. a good thought, right? Because you want to have force him to use his actions and stuff to get to you. Mm -hmm. But he is. A, he probably won't. Yeah. He'll, probably, he'll, <laughs> he'll be happy to he'll, shoot. He'll stay, you. He'll stay yeah. undercover and he'll. Yeah. yeah and and uh, so this 
this difficult terrain for me still, but I'm not going to worry about moving stealth. I don't care if they hear me. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's yeah, five. Yeah, even though you're there. Well, he'll be able to hear me, but he, right. he might be able to try to attack me, but he'd have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Five, ten. Is that is it difficult terrain to get to here? From here to here? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. No, it's, it, no. So no, five, so you, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's my movement. I'll mm -hmm. spend my action moving mm -hmm. and, and go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is five, 10, 15, 20, and I'll just look around. What do I see? Okay. Or and did I run into a goblin? Hello. <laughs> hmm. What do you know? What, uh... <laughs> hmm. Well, what? Oh, wait, no, no. Oh. oh. Okay. Just one though in here, right? Yes. Okay. So you will... Yeah, but oh. he's like peering out. Yeah. Get, getting another arrow ready. <sighs> okay. Is that it? I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Dog. Daggers. I like All that. All right. Uh, since I can see that hell dust is engaged, the one that I threw an ice knife at. Mm -hmm. Ice uh, knife. I'm gonna head out here. I'm gonna look up into this big bushy area mm -hmm. um, oh. and see if I can <laughs> see if I can <laughs> perceive any uh, mm -hmm. any of the action that's going on in there. That's a 14 plus four, so that's 18. Oh yeah. See who's up in this boosh. Nice save. <laughs> yeah. Howdy, yo. I said no, I'm in there. He is right there. Yeah. Just one, two. Uh, and you also ah. see uh, some movement in the further back, but you actually you can't see the guy himself. Okay. That's that silly so sword that keeps rolling at one. See that <laughs> one, and then yeah, no other. I, I can see that there are more, it's probably more people, but I, I can't actually see mm -hmm. them specifically. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, well, I'm going to, um, I'm going to throw an ice knife at this dude up in the tree again. Okay. So, or not again, but for the, yep. for the very yeah. first time. <laughs> need a 16. Uh, I got it. Yay. All right. It's a 14 plus 6. Uh, so that's a d10. Uh, oh, right. It's a, yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah, he takes 8 damage. 8? Yep. Uh, and then he must make a dex save. Uh, he takes this the ice spear through the eye and just fucking plops lifeless out of the tree. Okay. As he's falling out of the tree, the ice spear in his eyes goes... <laughs> <laughs> like a nice little snowy slush of eye blood just sort of sprays out. Okay. Uh, that guy is dead. <laughs> that guy is dead. <laughs> Come at old dag. All right. Uh, Bring more right, than that. Uh, OD. Yeast nor. Uh, what you got? Let's give uh, think old Ray Bandor some bardic inspiration. You get oh. a D6 on, uh, what is it now? Ability checks, attack rolls, or saving throws. So that's for you to keep. How do you, how do you inspire him? Uh, oh, he's right next to me, isn't he? In the back. Yeah, <laughs> <A little laughs> like in the back. I've always, I've always found that inspiring. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time for Modi. <laughs> a little personal production. Uh, do you know what? I've got, I don't, I think I've got another little instrument I might carry around. I bet me. you do. Uh, Tucked well, away mean, somewhere. I've heard about your little instrument. What was it? I think it's like a little flute or something silly was like it, that. Was it, was it, it's, uh, it's a parrot. I have a pan flute. Is it, uh, it's a what? It's a parrot. A parrot? Yeah. I got a parrot. It sings with you. Uh-huh. Uh, bagpipes, bedroll. That's only so Hasenauer has to roll the parrot this week. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I do want him to. He should play the parrot. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he could just sit and go, <laughs> <laughs> uh, How do I inspire you? Uh, when we win this, when we, what the hell? When we win this fight, I'll make you the best brew you've ever had. Uh, oh, does that knowing matter? how bad his drinks are, I roll to see if I'm actually inspired. <laughs> and I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, 
Uh, okay, that was a bonus action. Do I know where this git is? Uh, I even uh, him? You is. you saw him dive in there, and he he did not. Uh, he, I didn't have him sneak yet. He didn't take the, the hide action. Right. So, you, so I can you, see him. You, yeah, you can kind of see bits of him poking out of the bushes. Well, I'm a crossbow. Just get then. Uh, <laughs> fuck it now. You need a 16. It's a run, another one. Oh, okay. Yeah, <clears> so, that. yeah, I just <laughs> flay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We've moved closer to where Anna sits, so we. Oh yes, you're roll. right. Yeah, we need to scoot back to our. I'm sitting where Anna sits, and I'm just rolling one after one after one after one. It's, she's oh, she's cursed. You have to just... exercise that uh, that chair. Yeah, <laughs> well, exercise Anna. Okay. Um, so uh, this whole actually, time, you... oh, oh, oh well, I someone shot me from over there, right? I know mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So. <sighs> Well, then you've moved off, though, haven't you? Well, you you might know that this guy's there. I'm going to make my way over there to where the the you get got the guy out of the tree because there's someone else over here, right? So Potentially. presumably, um, square one there, Sorry, one, two, three, four. What is this? This one? Did you check this one? Or down there. Uh, when I walked through there, I saw the bark fall over there. Right, he was in that tree, tree yeah. but yep. I wonder mm-hmm. if it was someone in here. Someone shot us from over here, so... And I have a little look around in that bush. Okay. Uh, you don't see anything. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm done. All right. You've got so to use... Well, this, through, throughout this whole ordeal, the crows have just, like, you know... Rah, bah, rah, bah, bah. They, they've been making all kinds of noise. Um, sure. Up. All of a sudden, they start making a lot of noise, mm-hmm. uh, and then all of a sudden, they're, you hear. They just fly. They shat themselves. Oh no! They, the the, the um, yeah the, the the crows sort of fly away. Mm. And That's, um, no, it's ominous. Yeah. Okay. That's uh. That's that's it. Mm. Who was that? That was, was the, that was the boss. That was the boss. Ah, uh, okay. What, uh, did he, what did he have them do? That caused the. He must have done something. He ordered them to do something, and the crows all fucked off. Like Ragnar. Maybe they're retreating. All right. So is this guy still alive? Uh, yes. Yeah, fucked off. Oh, I forgot about uh, it. <laughs> 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 I went over to see him alive, and then just fucked up. So I'll go ahead and put my hand to his wound and say, "Rise and fight, brother," and use two points of my lay on hands to heal him up. Okay. Pencil. How much? So it gives him two points. Yep. Yeah, I'll give him two okay. points. Yep. Okay. So I'm, he. I basically stabilize. His him. eyes sort of like fly open, and he's. <gasps> and he's. He sort of looks down at his chest, and you know, the, there's still blood all over, right? But like, he's like. And then I'll uh, charge into here. Yeah. Lay on hands is an action, so that's my turn. <laughs> Can't let my dwarves down. <laughs> he left us. Oh, he, so he needs to stand up, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, he can get up on no, his turn. Just, yeah, he'll get up on his. I mean, you can stand him up. It's the, oh, okay. These guys that? are not combatants. What was that? It was Anna it's, and Jerry poking their why heads. Are they, why are they poking their heads? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's just sort of standing there, like, like looking for the hole where the arrow was. It's magic. If that orc or whatever it was mm-hmm. was standing out here, we'd be able to see him, right? Yes. Okay. Unless he has some supernatural ability to hide or something. Actually, I don't, I don't even know if that's even. It wasn't an orc. It wasn't an orc. It was just a really big guy. It's a big, it's big. Well, what's the difference? 20 footer. It's one of your It's one of your Your eyes all roll back like a dog. Two bites for tenderizing and then down you go. Okay. Um, oh, right. So, uh, um, Helldust, you see that guy, like, sort of like, and then. Yeah, and, they're like, retreating. And, and bolt back into, uh, into the. You can take it off. Yeah. Before before you can even do anything, he's he's like gone into the bushes, all like ET style. <laughs> um, that is now an obscure reference, I think. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, is it? So I think so. Yeah. Same thing goes with this guy. He fucking bolts that way. This chap. Yep. Yep. And I assume the same with this guy. Uh, and that guy. Yep. And no what about, what about this monkey? That guy. He turns around uh, and one second. Let me, let me do something. Okay. <gasps> okay. He bumps right into you. Uh, uh, and let's see. I think he's going to take a swing at whatever he bumps into. He just, it's just his disadvantage. Like, yeah. Like, uh, 14 hit. Yeah. Yeah. I think that means I'm visible now. Three damage. Okay, so he's just like... And uh, the blade sort of like, you know, doesn't do a lot of damage, hmm. but... Uh, it Actually, does, it, it does. I have to look it up. I don't know. Hmm? The the description on the spell card does not say I become visible if I get hit. That may be an older edition of the game. How much damage? Uh, three. Three. Dead. Uh, <laughs> so are you still invisible then? Oh. I'm going to find out. All right, well, I mean, we could just say that you are. I, I don't ever remember getting damaged as being something that gets rid of well, maybe not. visibility. Maybe I'm just... Oh, it could be a smoking uh, rope. Wouldn't do it I, this time. I, I could be, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Are there any other goblins that you guys can see that are alive? No. Uh, you guys just sort of hear like... Nope, yeah. Yep. Um, I'm, still, I'm still invisible. Okay. Uh, I may be leaving visible blood drops, though. So... I think. As these guys run away and the, and the sort of the, you know, the, 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 all the crows sort of disappear, you hear something much louder, huh. much closer, huh. that sounds familiar. Huh? Uh, it's, uh, a, it's a purple worm eating a manticore. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What? It's big. You're not really sure what it is. You've never seen one. Oh, I bet it's not a dragon. I bet it's not a dragon. Lands right here. Meta. Um, And reaches down. Fucking eats this guy. Like the dead guy before the sun. Yep. Holy shit! Basically, he, yeah, he he he. Well, my screech <laughs> like smashes through the trees. Right, lands with a big thud, grabs the dead guy. Like the the, the silent guy, like kind of like falls back, uh, and you know, and kind of does one of those like lizard like, <laughs> and sort of looks around and. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a dragon. Hell dust. <laughs> uh, what is it? Well, I came to slay, so yeah. Well, look, there you go. Right. Do it, do it. <laughs> you hear like so the 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 live guys go. Oh, it's a dragon! Mm. Can I make an arcana check to see if I know what this thing is? Assuming it's like a magical creature. Uh, you can or is try. there another skill that would be more appropriate, like history or whatever? Um, Thank you. It is not a magical creature. But I would. I, I'm, but but I, I'm really thinking. That. Just, I don't know if Morag would know that. Is my point. Hmm, so I don't know. What, I don't know what skill to use. Field check. There. Nature. Yeah. Do that. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Yeah. You. You're not sure. You've. You know that dragons have multiple. Uh, is it? Is it? A, is it? A, is it? A this guy. This guy just a, has a, has two claws on his back and and big wings. It's a wyvern. Mm. They're dragon kin. They're like they're like non magical. Right. Mm -hmm. It's reasonable to make that assumption. You have not seen like you know that wyverns have have a barbed yeah, tail. Yeah, they barbed tail. Yeah, but it's kind of dark, and you know he's like yeah. back, and so you haven't. You're not sure if you haven't seen the barbed tail. Oh, oh what a beauty! <laughs> Come to Morag. All right. Well, I'm gonna javelin. Oh wait, hold on a second. Sorry, I just want to make sure. <clears throat> It's not done eating people. Oh yeah, it's got it's got it's got two. It, there's two. Of them. No, yeah. So um, yeah, it does one of these. It sort of. <laughs> it's just picking on the dead, though. Let him eat the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get yeah. full. <laughs> there's a fucking. Maybe you lead us when we're dead. <laughs> this is a this is a Twitter account. 
What is it? My... The, the name of the account is Progress Bar. <laughs> and then the, and the, the tweet for today is... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, okay, halfway, we're halfway <laughs> through. Today. All right. So... so Justin, as a heads up, since it's the first time you played, mm -hmm. with your dash, you can probably get up to him, especially oh. with a spider climb. You can just fucking go right through that because you got uh, your high head squares. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just... I'm pretty sure you could just... Seven, eight, nine. Yep, I can get right there. All right. So you guys see Helldust just like almost like a cat just sort of bound down that cliff, like sort of land in that bush. Like a dwarf cat. Spring out of the bush, fly over the top of the, um, or, you know, jump up onto the uh, the wagon and then like jump down like right in front of the thing screaming. Well, yes. You can tell me if you scream. She loves to scream. Okay. I'm going to scream. I'm going to howl my whole way there. All right, cool. And then <gasps> let's see what happens. Great X time. Oh. Yeah, and I got a. What'd you get? 13. Uh, that hits. Ooh. Oh, great. This no, is a big I thing. This is a big crit. Yeah. Hard to miss. Let's see what happens. Oh. Got 12. Oh, nice. Plus five. Plus two. Plus two, because I'm still in You're raging. rage. So rage lasts for a minute. So what's that? 19? Well, plus 19. Seven. Yeah. Damn. Plus. All right. So you, you <laughs> bury your axe in, into the this thing's thigh, because that's about where you are. Mm -hmm. And it sort of <laughs> and sort of <laughs> looks at you. <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right, more egg. <clears throat> Uh, is that guy still next to you, though, Morgan? Uh, or did he run off? No, oh, well, actually, he, he, you know, he tried to, yeah, uh, but he tripped over Morag and tried to. Yeah, I'm not super interested in him anymore. He can fuck off. <laughs> he's going yeah, yeah, to be, he's gonna be more scared of the spoofer than he is of me. Fair enough. Um, I pull out a little piece of twig from one of my pockets. It looks like a tiny little. A tiny little wizard's wand. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, Morag's got just the tweet treat for you, dearie. <laughs> and I zap him with Morag's bolt. Nice. Morag's bolt. Mm. Make a ranged spell attack against the wyvern. <laughs> Critical. Nice. No. Oh, so this uh, purple finger of plasma arcs out from the little tiny twig that I'm using. Mm -hmm. And it wraps itself around the wyvern. And the wyvern takes... 2d12. So when you roll a 20, that's a critical. If you roll a natural 20, mm -hmm. no modifiers, that's a critical. It automatically hits. Only on attack rolls. Doesn't work that way on saves or skill checks. And you roll your damage twice, but then any math is only once. Uh -huh. So like you're, if you do it with your great, mm -hmm. same thing with your great axe. Mm -hmm. You roll 2d12 and then only still add plus 5. Um, in, me, in my case, I don't get any kind of... 5. Oh. Pity. Yes, but it stays there. So okay. now every round after this, I don't have to roll uh, attacks. I can just go. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And now I am definitely visible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and which ball was that? It's my ball. These are the jokes, folks. Yeah. yeah I, I, okay. So when you appear, the, 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 the goblin's like. You know, he, he's, he does that sort of crazy like, <laughs> startled goblin thing. <laughs> uh, but it's not his turn yet. It that is sucked. I rolled a Dag's four and a one on 2d12. All right, Dag is going Average to... Average would be um, six and a half. <laughs> you do flanking by any chance? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to... So the indie assumes that on gonna, your turn, oh, you're oh, doing everything you can to keep your enemies in position and defend yourself. Because it turns about six That's seconds. Right, you, so that one die roll translates into you doing a lot I of movement a little, and stuff like that. The one thing you can't do a single is you can't keep track of two people who are on opposite sides. Put it in my hand and I you don't have eyes slap it in a so flaming sword erupts nice. from my palm. They both awesome. have advantage. And they're I both rolling 2d20 and swing it. The flip side of that is we do the same thing. At the wyvern. So you are currently giving... Dag Dagmar advantage, okay. which also you get advantage. So now oh, next time you, nice as long as the wyvern doesn't move and as long as Dagmar's still alive, next time you go, mm -hmm. uh, you can roll two d twenty and take the highest one. Okay. All right, that was a fifteen plus six. That's a hit. <clears throat> All right, and that's three d six. 
of fire! Uh, so that's 12 plus, that's 17 damage. 17 fire damage. Ooh. And you're, you you feel the sensation that you could no longer spider monkey up things. Oh, it's concentration? Yeah. Yeah, your hands aren't sticky anymore. No. <laughs> My hands. Some spells require the caster to concentrate on the spell oh, okay. while it persists. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean he can't cast other spells. It just means he can't cast other spells that require concentration. Yeah, okay. He can't concentrate on two spells at once. It's not a big deal for you. You're a barbarian, but I figured. Yeah. Well, maybe. You know. <clears throat> Oh, that's the other thing, by the way, is uh, if, we level, if we level up eventually, we get more experience. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take another level of barbarian. You, you probably okay. Will. So, so you yeah, decide. The, you, you guys, uh, that's cool. I see this like and bolt of yeah. purple, this purple glowing <coughs> tendril sort of like come out of the bushes and attach itself to to the uh, to you know to the whatever it is, the the big giant reptile with wings, uh, and it sort of like screeches in annoyance and tries to like you know kind of shake it off but it's like seems to be like attached to it uh and dag you did the what did you do again F a flaming sword okay, erupted from my hand and oh, i oh yeah you did ton of damage. Him okay yeah so you guys sorry i could have upcast brain that. fart fuck i could have rolled, <laughs> uh 4d12 i could upcast that i didn't even think about it anyway right. Right. anyway uh okay so uh yeah uh dag all of a sudden has this like <laughs> like flaming blade and Rakes it across the backside of, of of the you know what you assume is a wyvern, uh, and again it you know it's sort of like screeching in pain. You see it, it it's kind of getting that like that demeanor of an animal that's surrounded. It's like <laughs> you know one of those kind of a deal. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Yishnor. Uh, how far away am I from that? Go over thing. back here. Yep. Uh, Okay. Yeah, you're hiding in the bush. <clears throat> oh yeah, I forgot I'm in the bush. Well, I'm staying there. You can't see me, right? Am I about sixty foot or less? Because I might use my what is this called again? Dis dissonant whispers. Dissonant whispers. Dissonant yeah. whispers. If it's sixty, I think its range is sixty foot. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use that. So I whisper a melody that only one creature of your choice within range can hear, wrecking it in terrible pain. Target must make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, uh, what's your DC? Which is uh, <laughs> spells at the top. That one is it? Mm. You'll say like spells. Yeah, spells DC. DC. Yeah, twelve. 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 Mm. Mm. What? Your charisma is plus. What is it? Plus two. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Eighteen. Then I think it does bugger all. Uh, the target must make a bit on a failed on a failed save. It takes that much damage. I don't think it does anything then, right? Oh, so it does, does take it damage. Take half on a successful save. Uh, on a failed save, it must it takes three d6 psychic damage. It must immediately use its reaction to move. The creature doesn't. No. No. It had to. <laughs> so you just you just miss <laughs> Yeah, you just you just hear from the bush <laughs> this uh hey, hey up, you bloody stupid dragon. I'm gonna I'm gonna get ya. I'm go oh bloody hell, it's not doing anything. I'll just I'll just I'll just stay in this bush, I think. <laughs> and then just sink back down into the bush and have a little drink. <laughs> You you I don't, you always have like beer on you. No matter yeah, like, yeah, always. Like, yeah. <laughs> right, oh, well, I use the spell. If only we had those uh, halfling bakers with us. So can I get an advantage here, too? Since he's yeah. bigger. Okay. Yeah, I think I think so. I, yes, I'll say. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a hunter's mark on him. So okay. you see a golden hammer kind of branded onto him, and then I'm gonna swing my longsword at him with advantage and hope that I hit. Uh, 13 that hits. plus. You need a 13. Yeah, 13 plus 6. So I'll roll my yeah. d6 and my Quite eight. Nice, it? Well, let me see your character. Let me see your front stage. Easy. Mm. Uh, I don't know what your original damage. I don't know what your original right. roll two sixes were. and it's plus 6. Slashing. Right, but you've gotten to... So you, one of the things that happens when 18, you get to 18. Is you get to boost these. 
Uh, yeah, and I, I don't know if you've done that in D&D Beyond. I did. Because you did? Yeah. Where did you, do you remember where you put your points? I'll look at it. I'll look at it after. Okay. But, like, all right. Uh, yeah, okay, so. This is love. Uh, yeah, you, you, that, you that brand sort of, here. like, appears no, on his, on his, on his side. And, um, you know, you you're not sure if it's like actually in your mind or something. It actually, means you're going to live longer. It's, like, almost like but, the okay, sound of a hammer at fourth level. And then you aim for it. Gives you. Four hit points. What, what mm-hmm. kind of weapon do you have? But I'm using a sword. You boost your a sword. Charisma, okay, so you, you plunge your sword. To it. First, a twelve is Th- this thing is yeah, at its wits end yeah. by this point, and it sort of screams in frustration. Mind, you it's don't have to be a purple thing. It also has to be a bard. It's being be a, stabbed like from a every direction. You're, are you valor or uh, lore? Your lore. Yeah. It's starting to like kind of froth. I'll take a look at your character after and see if it can. Looks up to you. And it's its turn. Come on, blobby mama. Let's see. Here. Just be clear, I'm still oh hiding, in, hiding in that bush. <laughs> yeah, just be clear. I am <clears throat> visible, but in a bush. <laughs> Wait, did you actually take the hide action? Uh, no. no. He, he made a. I did say I duck back down, actually. Yeah, yeah. He made a half hearted attempt to, <laughs> so so to that fool Phil into thinking that he was still see you, you death bastard. <laughs> that, okay, so that guy has sure. had, like, he, he's he's done. He's like, he ran uh, fuck that. <laughs> fuck, fuck, this. <laughs> fuck this bitch that appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> fuck that purple string. He runs this way as fast as he can. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? More eggs, not so, done. He's sort of like, yeah, that's fine. Does he run into the tree? And- fuck! Nah, yeah, he can. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's, His face plants into yeah. it. Don't yeah. yell. He, he runs screaming. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Um. What's, oh, there's so many targets. <laughs> the boy Vern. Because Vern. The boy not Vern. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So he's going to bite Vern. Somebody. I don't know him. He's going to bite who? Uh, let's see. One, here. two, three, not it. One, two, That's how it's three, three four, That's five, six. Come at me. Run. Uh, Bummer. Uh, Hell dust. Mm. All right, he's attacking you with his bite. You're raging. You're fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have 14 does not hit. No, his AC is 19. Yeah. So yeah, you, his armor class is great. Big, my like, maw comes like curdling his arm towards you. You dodge points. out of the way. Oh, like, I just do this. You hear that sort of <laughs> hard, <laughs> hard clack of teeth going together. Uh, and then the next one. <laughs> this is the bad juju. It's going after. Uh, what was it? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Uh, it's going after uh, Rogan. Ooh. So you see the, the tail comes swinging around, and sure enough, there's a barb at the end of it. A barb at the end of it. A barb, a barbarian on the front of it, and a barbarian at the end of it. That's a twenty, not not a crit, but a twenty. Uh, uh, twenty uh, would hit me. Twenty. Yep. Yep. Okay. Woo. Bad news bears. Fine. Okay, a, so <laughs> make a uh, constitution saving throw. Uh, 13 plus 3, 16. Okay, so you save. But you're still going to take a bunch of damage. So uh, from the stinger, you take uh, 11 damage. And as the stinger goes in, you feel the poison burn. <gasps> You had a paladin. You have um, you're, you're a dwarf. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So you take Poison half damage resistance. from you take half damage from poison damage, and you have advantage on saving throws against the poison effect. Okay. So two different things. I don't know. Which well, I already saved. Mm-hmm. What do I got if I pull twice? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a knife. You nine. can't. You can't critically succeed on a save. Yeah. Uh, so eighteen, up my you save. So that makes it the nine with your resistance. That makes it. Four. Lars, this is the first time you and I played D&D together. It's so a four no, damage. I played with Ray. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Uh, so eleven plus four. You said. Uh, yeah. You took eleven from just the piercing from the pierce and, and four the... from the poison. Okay. So okay. you have the four. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, you already did that. You already did that. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, it's, cool. Cool. it's cool. No, it's fine. Yeah. So you just kind of America. <laughs> and, uh, that's right. Even if you poison me, I'll just lay on hands. Yeah. Five points, zap it away. Um, 
Okay, and he starts to beat his wings uh, like like he's he's, and he basically starts to lift off on the ground. But he's does it does he lift off on the ground? Yes. Do we get attacks of opportunity attacks when he leaves? Yes. Get him. Yes. Get him. Ooh. So this is that thing where he can't just ignore you. He can't just say I'm gonna fuck off and mm. so drop, it, drop his guard. I'll go ahead and roll mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thirteen plus do, six. You do the same thing. That's a hit, and you have advantage. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. 16 damage for me. <coughs> so 14 plus, you're definitely going to hit. Yeah. 14 plus 7, 21. Okay. It's 13 AC, I believe, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, did you roll your damage? No. It takes 11 damage. damage from me. Ooh! Well, not a 12. Uh, Fuck yeah. No, 19. 19. Oh, yeah. We rolled a 12 for 19. Yeah. yeah. All right. Nice damage twice. Fucking badass. All right. You hit him. 19. You, okay. Damage. 19 damage. Oh, yeah. 19 damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. So, always, even if you, if, when you have advantage, even if you hit with the first roll, you always want to roll the second one because the second one could be a crit. Oh, uh, yeah. You never know. Mm-hmm. Huh. All right. So, as this thing's like trying to fly away, you guys are just like, fuck you. Yeah. And, you know, you're sort of like chopping at it and slashing at it as it's trying to get away. And it's, it's, it's having a hard time getting, getting away. Like that last hit sort of like knocks it back to the ground and still alive. But, uh, you, you sort of, Prevented it from leaving. Gotcha. That is cool. <clears throat> um, Get him, held us. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's your, I think it's your turn now. Oh, yeah, is it? Oh, oh, do I you. still have a <laughs> yep. As long as there's somebody <laughs> on the other side of the dragon. Yeah, yeah. As long as you have an ally on the other side of the dragon. Uh, 13 plus. Yes. That is 20. Yeah, you hit. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do this again. Oh, yeah, Phil has written there. It's armor class oh. on there. Um, so that is. It's 16. All right. Damage. So it, 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 it tries to beat its wings again, which are sort of shredded five. and torn. Yes. Oh, you're right. And you're as right. it begins to sort of I lift off question. again, uh, you see Helldust basically take her axe and just like yeah. open them up. And, oh. and she's suddenly just awash in wyvern guts. <laughs> Bless us with the blood! And, just, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the thing just sort of like falls. <laughs> Bloody hell! Uh, it, 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 it falls. <laughs> Across that wagon. Oh, uh, uh, just kidding. You had a three duels. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, crushes them to death. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll <see. laughs> Look, you, you want to make it on? You got to break a few doors. <laughs> okay, so two of them managed to like d- dive out of the back. Okay. Uh, but one of them Ooh. does mm-hmm. not. Okay. And uh, yeah, the, and the wyvern like. Falls on top of okay. the, the, the wagon. Basically, the, wh- the wheels sort of break and crack. So and we the, fuck the, the wagon. oxen are like, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he's, but, he, but you can hear him under there. Oh god! Ah. But he's he's. I rush over and try to help him. <clears throat> oh, me too. I've still got my bull strength. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. rush over here and try and try try to, to lift the wagon half on him. Yeah, I'll take it. Pick this bad boy up. Get that, <gasps> Big dead wiggling. <laughs> Ah. Kill the wyvern. <laughs> I know what this means. It's got a lair nearby. Uh, all the bones that it's eaten and all the all the items, all the gold and gems and all right, jewels. So, uh, what, are we, what are we doing here? Uh, we're trying to lift the wyvern uh, okay. off of right. the uh, do, smash do strength. Uh, you know, uh, I think you get something on that schmuck. If yeah. Still no, no, what was it again? <clears throat> Bull strength. Yeah. Oh, what, what what is your strength? So he's uh, got advantage on strength. I guess right now. You have advantage right? on strength checks, yes. Uh, okay. You have is that it? Uh, it's just, um, oh, okay. And you find on strength checks Sorry. and he can double his carrying capacity. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Is anyone well, gonna help you or are you doing it by yourself? I'm, I'm doing it too. I'm not gonna but help. I only rolled a nine, so that's a fifteen plus one. Okay, so you managed to and it kind of um, you know makes some space um but he can't he can't really move so you're just sort of holding it there does anyone I'll pull him out then. okay so you pull him out and, and you say this is a heavy bastard he's, he's 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 his legs are fucking busted uh, <clears throat> well i can get him on the car i can uh i can just use lay on hands on him i got 20 okay. um 
to give him a little bit more health because I'm going to try to even yeah, that that guy's dead. I'm going to see if I can bring him back. I think I took Q. And so well. I'll go ahead and give him hey, one. Did you take your broken legs? And then I'll walk over and try to give this guy <laughs> yes. one as well. Yes, that's a very different spell. Okay. Your broken legs. Uh, uh, that guy's used. dead. Okay, he's gone. That, that guy's okay. dead. <laughs> he's, yeah, if there's a he's silent dead, next Jim. to them, they're dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two of the silent uh, guys three. got uh, eaten. You can see that they're like sort of standing there, like confused, just waiting. To like, there's so many dead people. What do we do? It's like Christmas. <laughs> well, no, they're just, they, they seem like they're not really sure what to do. Um, right, the thing that they were tending to just got eaten yeah, instead. Yeah. Uh, and after a little well, bit, they just sort of like and go back to their wagon. Oh, I mean, we could cut the wyvern opening and get the body out for him. That's true. Morag, he, does Morag. Not, he, he does not appear to have thought of that. Mor- Morag doesn't. Morag is not going to fucking do that. <laughs> Morag doesn't give a shit. No, I'm also not bothered. Yeah, I'm okay. still hiding in a bush. <laughs> I just realized. But this could be an opportunity to get in good with the. the, the is Morag going to suggest that? Well, I mean, it, there. No, Matt is. <laughs> <laughs> Morag. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the way the silent works is they take them to like. The death gate or whatever. That's like the idea. Yeah, they well they yeah, they they prepare their prepare their corpses for the, the, the trip. Okay. And uh usually they'll have some sort of consecrated place where they, they lay them to rest. So since they're dwarves, I'll go ahead and slice the wyvern open and pull them out for okay. them. Okay. You don't really have to work that hard because a lot of the guts like <laughs> I, uh, the wyvern came pre sliced. Like, yeah. like like how dust is <laughs> like okay. kind of like extricating herself from the intestines. Um and yeah, you see like a big lump where it's, you know, where it's stomach and esophagus are, and you can just two dead bodies sort of fall out of the, fall out of the, the slime. Nice. I whistle yeah. at the silent point though. I yell. As much as I'm doing for him. Yeah, I yell. <laughs> I yell. They're, they're, they're sort of like they're, they're sort of like walking back, and then they just sort of and start walking back towards you. <laughs> Jeez. They're almost like little. They're almost like automatons. Mm-hmm. And they, yeah, the blood they, suits you, Derry. They immediately yeah, keep start, it. you know, yes. g- gathering them up and, and <laughs> taking them to their quite full wagon. <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna go pick my javelins back up, mm-hmm. and oh. for all the dead goblins, I'm just gonna go stab them through the heart just, just to make, make sure, sure they're <laughs> dead. <Fair enough. laughs> yeah, they, just fuck them. The the, the, uh, <laughs> the silent do not seem. Uh, to, to care about the goblin the, the goblin corpses. Um, I mean, why should they? Yeah. I guess I'll get my javelin also. They're not equal opportunity. Is there anything of, Is there anything of value that can be extracted from a wyvern corpse? Uh, like, are there are there any kind of in your world? Are there any? Are well, there any? Certainly, the the uh, the the poison. From this oh, the stinger, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is something, that, oh, yeah. you know, like you would know. Yeah, You'd be like, oh yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go. I'll trot. I'll trot down from the. Okay. From my hiding. Uh, do, do a. Do, 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 let's do, see. Get my. I've got a dagger. Okay. I got actually a couple of daggers. Where are all the the things that you can check against on here? Is this the old? Like, no, that's a good. This is the new that's one. That's a good one. Too. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Like, uh, it's like a, I think there's just a list. Right, of, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, do. Let's do. What would be a good one? Yeah. It could be anything, really. Uh, nature to know nature. where. Yeah, nature to know where the yeah. like biology, the equivalent of biology. Yeah. Um, Nineteen plus two. Nineteen plus two. Three. Do you guys see 22. Morag back there, like messing with this big stinger, and she sort of takes out her knife and deftly cuts, like right along this sort of seam, and opens it up, and just. Pulls out this sort of big venom sack. We were in poison. Uh, we could break uh, a brew out of that, baby. Uh, oh, we could a very special brew. <laughs> <laughs> Daggers will try it. He's up for anything. Daft bugger. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I'm a bit hurt. I'm gonna I put, I put my hand on my head and say, so. "What have I gotten into?" <laughs> Uh, what do I get Q wins? I'm just cast Q wins on myself. Great. Right. <laughs> fucking one. Fucking one, 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 one. It's Anna. It's Anna's seat. Anna's Anna seat. Anna's, I, uh, Anna's butt. <laughs> Anna's butt has cursed that shit. It fucking has. <laughs> Many people have felt her butt was cursed, and now we have proof. Uh, that's it. Oh, plus two. I get two or plus two on that. So that's an amazing three. Okay. How, how hurt are you? 
Uh, I am on 23 out of 39 now. So this this place so just we can rest. I mean, there's dead goblins. We back up and we're gonna sleep. This whole area oh, yeah. reeks pretty badly, right? Because the <clears throat> goblins smell bad to begin with, uh, and the insides of a wyvern is not a pleasant smell at all. Um, oh, speak for yourself. The wyvern's blood <laughs> is just sort of all over the place. Um, what are you guys gonna do? Uh, uh, because go you've back got to one, you've this, got uh, one smashed, no, no, pub. smashed wagon. <laughs> uh, we, well, you've got these two wagons that are still intact, although you know with arrows sticking all out of them. Um, and then the silent wagon. Yeah, you're gonna need to figure out like. So and, and basically, the the wyvern corpse in that like open area. Can we not get around it? Or I guess we need to. You're gonna. I mean, we could collectively like, pull it yeah. off the road. <laughs> Right, just drag the corpse up the hill a little bit. Mm-hmm. Is this like and its then, neck draped down here? Is there anything? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it? like it basically it's sort of like it, its head is here, and then like its body is like laying across it, and its tail's like out there. Is there any? Is this? Are, which is? I'm, I'm sorry. Is one of these smashed now? I think so, this one's that smashed. One. This one's yeah. smashed. Yeah. Okay. And is there anything? How many? People are left alive because I so feel like we could probably leave some of these wagons behind. Now. We've got three silent. Are we still the horses? Are uh, 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 I think. Oh yeah, this guy's dead. Yeah. Can three we pull silent, the, yeah, let's pull the dead guys off the table us. so we? Actually, that guy's alive. Well, yeah, the... I might come out of his bush now. Nah, <laughs> come down. Nah, it's early days yet. Who knows? See what's going on. What yell? One of those guys that I just handed you was still alive. Hey, actually, okay. he was the one we pulled out from under the wyvern. Oh, okay. So, you well, can yeah. the goblins. I'll, I'll just put them, down, yeah. take them sure. off the table. So, yeah. Can let's... we console? I'm just wondering if we can consolidate the civilians, uh, uh, loose, uh, unyoke the oxen, mm-hmm. and just like leave one or two of these fucking things behind mm-hmm. so that we don't have to worry about excavating the wyvern. Well, we have let's one see. more dwarf than we had uh, in this cart already. Dwarfs? Yeah. So it should Maybe be. Okay. Let's assume. Let's assume these guys want their own. Is that a silent? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a silent. Let's assume these guys want their own cart. Yeah, we should so tell them we... to just like continue down because they're slow anyway. Yeah, God. And we should get these guys around and be behind these should guys and catch back up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they have yeah. the silent. They they yeah. get in there. They get in Still their cart. Like the <laughs> they get in their cart and it, they just start going like mm-hmm. without. They don't even wait for us to tell them. They just yeah. bugger off. Yeah. yeah, they just. I mean, you know, it's slow, but you know. No, well, yeah. Um, so they've gone. Right. But this one's a bit smashed, right? Yeah, that one's fucked. <clears throat> There's uh, how many dwarves have we got Ten left? of us left. We got five. two wagons between us. <laughs> well, five I mean, two I, it's, it's reasonable to assume that you can pack five dwarves into a wagon as long as whoever, that one guy who's left from that one is okay leaving his shit. Are you okay leaving your shit? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. We gotta move up the track. Mm. He's a dwarf. Oh, I forgot my fucking special ability. Go ahead, never fuck. I'm a diviner, I can say. Hello! Uh, Do you know what I've got in there? <laughs> Family heirlooms! I've got my riches! <clears throat> I've got to get them! And he goes out shuffling over and starts like uh, <laughs> trying to push the push the, the wyvern off and digging through the guts to get whatever it is he's trying to get. Be quick now, the next wyvern comes along and eats you, and we'll be on our way. Yeah, that, that seems to. He's like. <laughs> eventually, he sort of. He finds, like, this chest, you know, about, about your big. Like, oh, oh. All that fuss for that. <laughs> Bloody chest. He, he comes over and he, like, stuffs it in the back of the wagon on top of somebody's shit. Hey, dog, you're gonna break it! Yeah. He puts it in the back. <laughs> for crying out loud, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over here and help him out. Okay, so you, you get it in. And Begrudgingly. He, he sort of like puts plops his, plops himself down <laughs> on top of the uh, on top of the pile of, of goods and just sort of sulk. Mm. <laughs> uh, Bro, my brothers are dead. Oh, two bats. Us. Ten minutes. Hey, but the brain yeah, side is more. More inheritance for the, you. Uh, Here, have some toad milk. Thing. <laughs> we'll say you sit there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'll calm your nerves and put hair on your chest. Yeah, actually, like, he, he put hair on other parts of you too. He kind of looks at it like, 
<laughs> oh, careful! <laughs> He's a dwarf after all. Mark. What did you he give him? Not that Tony Milky stuff. <laughs> Tony yeah, Milky. Yeah, see, that is some dwarf. <laughs> oh no! He drank the toad milk. That's a dwarf who can handle his toad milk. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a traditional drink for a morning dwarf. <laughs> about an afternoon dwarf. Do we need to get the wyvern out of the way, or can we get around it? Um, are you? <laughs> it'll be tough. Uh, you know what? Um, so basically, hang on a minute. You know, what? I, I don't want to. I don't. Yeah. I could. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll just cast levitate on the wyvern. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. A creature or so. object. Oh, how much would you say? <laughs> How much would you say? He cracked one. It's just strange. It's amazing you can reach that conclusion. Yeah. How much would you say a wyvern weighs? Mm. An English wyvern or an African wyvern? Yeah, exactly. Do you have a weight limit? It's 500 pounds. I mean, he's lost his tail. More than 500 Uh, pounds. Lost a lot of blood. We're talking about Oh, yeah, and his guts. It's guts. You might be able to lift it in pieces. (gasps) Chop, chop, chop. So, for example, if you were to to cleave off the tail... And uh, and you may be able to move the tail and then sort of like. All right, well, I'll, I'll hack it up. <laughs> well, I think we're going to have to all work together to dismember this thing anyway. Right. Bloody so hell! Might as well all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you guys, let's get these dwarves to help us out. Chip, chop, chip, chop. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. everyone, everyone's mucking in. Yeah. Even Come on, boys! Everyone helps. Go on, misery guts! Stop <laughs> mopping around couple your brothers. Of them are like, <clears throat> and they they pull out their little axes, and a couple of them are the the, the one that that had his uh, his chest of gold. It's like he, he doesn't want anything to do with this. <laughs> uh, but the other ones we'll, we'll, we get out and help I'm going to try to intimidate him and just yell the quicker we get this done the quicker quick, we get this done quick you got more brothers the one you got the one you got the one yeah he tried to intimidate him six hey, um, six yeah never mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey you <laughs> I try to intimidate him. <laughs> he, he, like, he, he, sort, he, sort, he sort of does one of these. He's like, <laughs> Just leave like him be, it. lad. He's drunk on the toad milk and he's hurting inside. <laughs> All right, so you guys are over there. And they, yeah. These guys are like, <clears throat> as we're ripping this thing apart. Dwarves, right? Sure. Yeah. 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 As I've, we're ripping I've this still thing got a flaming sword and like mm-hmm. the strength of a bull. You so have a flaming I'm sword. Like, yeah. Yeah. He, he did his no, lead dope. thing. And, a dope druid. Oh, yeah, it was a dope cool description. Druid. I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so eventually you guys hack this thing off, and with with difficulty, you get the last two wagons out around, and you know, and it takes maybe takes about half an hour uh, once you clear the tail away. Maybe an hour total to, to just get everything out and get around and get back on on the road. But eventually, you do, and it's nighttime. Like full on nighttime, um, full knob nighttime. <laughs> but hold on a second, I need to find my proper papers. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, there it back is. Pops out and I, thought, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, do you really want to do that now? <laughs> <laughs> and you guys get get moving, right? And the wagons stay together pretty well now. Um, fortunately, the uh, the the silent don't find any more any more corpses along the way. Well, we've got a whole bunch. Of and you guys, you guys do you you finally catch up to uh, to the caravan. Uh, you see up ahead, Sarge has pulled the caravan into a big clearing similar to the one you guys had. Uh, this one looks like it was uh, a, a, like they ex uh, what do you call it uh, cleared cleared yep. clearing right. Uh, there's some you know big trees that have been you know sort of cut back. Um, and uh, you know, you, you, as you ride up, you can see Heldrock in there, sort of trying to coordinate a watch, and you know, Yon Yon's just sitting on a high rock, looking out into the darkness. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna walk up to Sarge and I can tell him, bloody hell, Sarge, you got ambushed by them goblins hiding in bushes. Great big bloody dragon he, thing. He comes up. Oh, oh, you made it. I'm glad. I'm just, so glad. Just about, just about. I thought, ambush. I thought we'd lost. Well, it wouldn't have been half. Uh, yeah, well, we uh, we lost you. We lost a few. Just a few. I mean, I didn't way. leave you. I didn't no. leave you. No, <clears throat> <We're, laughs> I get it. Well, you yeah. didn't leave us. You just got in your car and rode away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, we've got a lot of, of 
I mean, we lost. You did your job. We lost half. Good job. Of what we had. <laughs> Back there. But you've got more here, so we're good. Folks such as yourself will be most welcome in Valengar. I do hope so. It's a bloody long trip, this. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, not welcome the, uh, in blisters anymore. Are the humans still around? Yeah. Is the boy still here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, still here. So, uh, are you guys going to set a watch? Well, I think we should. I want to make a brew. Are you gonna make a brew? Oh yeah! All right. Off I go. All right, cool. How about tonight, Morag? You want a brew? This good beer is <laughs> <fun>. not yours. <laughs> no. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> hell does. Can I? Tr- no. Uh. Not on tonight. How about you, uh, Ragnar? No, oh. I'm writing down. Well, you, you, you gave me that inspiration, so okay. tonight, yes. sure. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna have one with his daggers. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go, daggers. Here's yours. I didn't say that one. Cheers, boys. Oh, let's get it down your necks. It's bloody good brew, this one. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right, anyway. Get it down your Gregory. Get it down. No, yeah. that's cottony. I don't got no cottony shite, blood. So, right. <laughs> Sarge appears to be genuinely happy that you guys made it and you've, you've brought it. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he's used to losing... There you go, Sarge. Well, drink, yeah, get that down, yeah. Cheers. Ah, cheers, Sarge, cheers. I want to corner Sarge and just, Mm -hmm. like, like, hang off of his shoulder, Mm half-drunk, on the toad brew, and just, like, Mm -hmm. give him just, like, an overly long, overly detailed description of how, like, the wyvern, like, ate the dead guys and the guts were spewing out, and it's just, like, just, like, over the top and gruesome and... He listens to all the time. I mean, uh, like, yeah. like spitting on him a little bit. I should have told probably. you about the crows. <laughs> mm. Oh, the crows, you see. Sorry about that. <laughs> what of the crows? Well, <clears throat> they, they seem to know what was going on. The, gobl- the goblins have. They, they, they've, they've trained crows that they use to inform them of things, and they use them as scouts, and they they, they mimic their, uh, their calls to communicate. It's. Mm. The s- sneaky sons of bitches. How many crows? They are. Stolen the crows, one might say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, um, are we going to take watch? Yes, uh, we are yeah. take a watch. Yeah. yeah. There's uh, five of us, so right, we can still, split yeah. up into two watches, two people on one watch. Uh, on I'm going to use my lay on hands to heal myself. Okay. I want to confirm that paladins can use that on themselves. So and you see Ragnar in the back of the wagon laying was. hands on himself. Uh oh, you can touch <laughs> yourself. <laughs> yeah, that was the first, was the first response. Dear you, eh? Don't, don't look at I just touched my hair. Oh. <laughs> 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 I touched my hair and my wounds heal. <laughs> Amazing. In wine the other people come and start touching your hair. These guys, like, they set they set up their camp like close to you guys. They're and they, they like whenever you know you see them, they're over there like talking and like and pointing at, at Ragna. Um and then every once in a while they're like they, they, you know, and then they're they're talking about uh you, you can't really hear what they're talking about, but clearly it's something that you guys have done impressed them. I pull out the little twig that I use as a material component for the mm-hmm. for the witch bolt and I go, <laughs> and I whack it out. And I put it away. Mm. Um. Uh, one of them, which appears to be the leader of the guys that, that did help, sort of comes over to the, uh, you know, comes over to your your campfire, and you know, he sort of bows deeply and <clears throat> thanks you, and you know, profus. It's like that was magnificent. You know, we wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for you guys. Oh, you would be <laughs> dead. <laughs> Eaten by a wyvern. <laughs> That's indeed. We're doing our job. Why, thank you. My brothers thank you. And even though that guy doesn't say it, he thanks you too. Ah, his brothers are dead. Well, let's understand it. <laughs> that when, there's, just... when there's pain in your heart and you've got a belly full of toad milk. Yeah, that guy's actually Jesus. sleeping. Belly full of toad milk. <laughs> Look at him we rest. Have to, we have to make a drink. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, some kind of like mixed drink that we can have before the end. <laughs> The guy that the guy that does how to know. drink, uh, the YouTube channel is a mm-hmm. is a big D and D guy apparently. Oh, yeah. So nice. Um, Get him on. But yeah, and, and they 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 ask you how how did you close my wounds? 
uh, it's a boon from the Forge Father. And you, you see him, he turns, he's like, I, I told you, I told you it was true. And they're all, you know, they're all like, now oh, you've got to believe her. <laughs> the Forge Father was real, right? Yeah, but uh, like, true, he true healing is kind of a new thing. Mm. Like a recent thing. Oh, okay. Mm. Like, uh, like, according to rumors, Rugar Steelhaven was the first true healer in as long as anyone can remember, like in recorded history. Um, you just threw it out there. Yeah, just so, so <laughs> the fact that, that you did that, uh, they're like sort of enthralled. Yeah, I'm through. That's mm -hmm. good. Show off. Yeah, you I don't have power now. Yeah. Well, Basically, I, I mean, I won't go through it, but like the guy just, he just peppers you with <clears throat> questions, you know, about like who you are, about your order, about like how you, you how you silent got spell. this, this <laughs> magnificent <laughs> power. And the other guys sort of like, <laughs> they're a little more shy, but they kind of like move a little bit closer so they can hear <laughs> what you're saying whenever you describe, or whenever you say what you say. We'll um, tell them about the uh, the hype indicator and where I go, or where I'm going, and why I'm going there. Mm. How many the of these guys is, are there? Uh, there are four. I kind of sleep on them. <laughs> really? Love <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> it. Uh, how many hit I points? take a pinch of pinch of fine sand. And I, how many hit points do, do you get? I got five d eight. Go for it. That's why I bet I pulled out five d eight ahead of time on purpose. Oh, do you? Do they're, they hurt? They're, they're, no, it, they're it, 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 no, it doesn't hurt them. Uh, good. They're, they're scared of, of Morag. Like, she she's comes just close. an old woman. It affects a number of hit points. It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. Uh, right. Eight, eight, two, two. So that's twenty-seven hit points worth of people. Uh, do they get saves on that? Uh, I don't believe they do. Oh, okay. Well, it affects them from lowest hit points going up. So he, he's like, so so what you're saying is. <laughs> 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 oh, bloody oh. hell, Morax got him to sleep again. Sorry, dearie, it seems like you put him asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of your boring uh, tales again, was it? I'll pull him to their beds. Okay. okay. Man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kids these days. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Morax. All right. <laughs> So, okay, so you guys, uh, oh, thankfully the rest of the night passes without incident. Great, we have a long rest. You have a long rest. Yes. Yep. Uh, a rest did you take any damage? Uh, four points. So, what happens is, like, you get your, yeah, you got all your points back. Yeah, you, you, didn't use back. Any, you didn't use any, any hit dice. Mm -mm. Yeah, after a long you don't rest. Have any, he doesn't have any spells. Yeah, nope. you, and my... Well, that also means I get my yeah. rage thing back. Yeah, I get everything back. Yep. No my spells back. All right, Hit points back. Oh. Okay, okay, so you guys that? wake up in the morning, feeling a little sore after the nice night's exertions, and a little bit tired uh, because you didn't get like a great, you know, uh, you you had dreams of giant lizard mouths and. Uh, I feel I feel great. Like I, I would wake hair. up very refreshed okay. from. All right. Except for uh, held us, held us weeks. I'm like, yeah, that was yes. awesome. I walk past the the dwarves that were talking to him, but I cast a spell. You sleep well. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> like, I look at you like. <laughs> I just <laughs> shrug. <laughs> okay, so uh, you know, Sarge has everyone up and you know, getting and getting things moving, and you know, after. A certain amount of time, the, the caravan gets moving again. Uh, so, we start at the back. Uh, I assume. Yeah, yeah, that's our job. Yeah, mm -hmm. keep these people. Did but you did you try did you try to encourage a uh, different order in the? Uh, well, I think we wanted to put we, us then the silent right, and then everyone else go ahead or not, and then we could. We were going to try to get uh, these dwarves in front of the silent, yes. so it's mm -hmm. the silent and us, us at the yeah. end. And then okay. we so we're just dealing with them, and I don't know if we still want to do the. Package the bodies to try to keep up. I don't yeah. think it made a difference. I mean, I, I think it made a difference. I just don't think it made a big enough difference to stop the silent from falling behind. Yeah, yeah. It was a um, still. So the, the the silent like they don't confer with you, but they they, they seem to. Are the silent dwarves? No. Okay. No. I'm they, gonna ask Sarge. Uh, do we care about those guys? <laughs> 
You're a, you're a paladin. <laughs> right. Lawful, lawful neutral. Wait, what? Uh, what? I'm asking Sarge yeah. if he cares about the if the yeah, Silent are part said. of the like, caravan. What? Yeah. yeah, that wasn't that wasn't <laughs> Phil. No, Sarge. Uh, are they under our protection? Well, you know, they're the silent. They they kind of do what they want. But well, no, by all means, yes, yeah. they're part of the caravan, and we, you know, people die up at Valengard. Do we care Sometimes. about this death cult? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. No, I helped him out. I gave him the dead bodies. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, the, the silent seem to... They, they don't... But if it weren't for them, all of our dwarf brothers... They don't actively die. try to, like, force their way into the order. They, they just sit there patiently until everyone goes by, and then mm -hmm. okay. you guys wave them. They, 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 they cooperate. Mm. Okay, uh, good. In their own strange, silent way. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> so... You guys are off. Uh, so, midday on the fourth day of your journey, you're relieved to hear deep dwarven trumpets sound off in the distance. <laughs> so, and, you know, and when you hear it, you sort of look up, and through a break in the canopy of the trees, you can see this huge towering cliff, and at the top, uh, stone structures sort of curling out around the lip of the cliff. Uh, you see Sarge way up there sort of remove the, 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 you know his own sort of trumpet or something like that and Blimey. sort of blow us back a response <laughs> um, and then uh, again down from the cliff another one comes you know echoing down from the heights and uh, you know you see Sarge sort of <clears throat> puts his puts his horn back in his uh, thing and slaps the oxen and the, and the caravan rumbles forward again uh, about an hour later uh, the path leads the caravan to the foot of a massive cliff, maybe <clears throat> a thousand feet. I mean, it's really whoa! It's, it's a massive cliff. The tales might have been true, like sort of uh, like uh, like El Capitan, you know that yeah. sort of tallness, right? Uh, as you approach the rock face, you uh, cross uh, a bridge, sort of spanning this oily moat, uh, and through a perimeter of high earthen walls, and they're bristling with palisades, right? Um, Archers are standing on top of these walls. Uh, they completely ignore you guys as you come through. Uh, they're just, you know, you see they're like fixed on, you know, on the woods. Uh, so basically, um, you know, you got the cliff, and then there's sort of like this big uh, earthworks around uh, the, the gate, right, which you'll see in a second. And, you know, there's just, basically it just gives them, they're not like super effective, right? But they would give anybody time who's outside to get into the gates, uh, you know, before they overran the, the, the earth earthworks. Uh, so inside the fortifications, the ground has been cleared of vegetation and earth trampled to dirt and mud by hoof and foot. Uh, a well-trod path slices through a series of tents and leads to an archway, to an arcing passageway plunging into the face of the rock, like directly in front of you. Uh, the opening is roughly 40 feet wide and about 20 feet high, so it's sort of like a half a half circle. Um, you, you notice that uh, forest vines, you know, once sort of choked off the cliff, you can tell because it's left all those like little vine scars all over the rock, but it's been cleared away. Uh, and it's, you know, it's chopped back to reveal this like exquisite masonry of the gateway. Uh, the frame of the arch is made of smooth stone, right? Uh, adorned with deep sort of chiseled dwarven runes, mm -hmm. uh, and they're inlaid with the sort of gleaming silver metal. Um, the dialect is ar archaic, but uh, Moreg recognizes it immediately, because oh. she's, uh, and she is, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, she's familiar with, you know, ancient dialects and, <clears throat> It's up to you whether you read it aloud for the for the group or they just sort of figure it out. Because I'll stand I'll stand there before the runes mm -hmm. and I will I will read them out loud. Okay, I'll translate what they say. Okay, ye stand at the steadfast gates of Balangar Keep those who come with ill intent. Ye stand at the gates of hell. Nice. <laughs> That's what it says. You guys can sort of see, like, oh, okay, I get it. You know, it's sort of like reading old English. You know, mm -hmm. um, 
So just inside the gates, there's a small retinue of dwarves and men. Uh, they stand waiting patiently as all of the sort of pilgrims exit their wagons, collect their belongings, and they sort of like gather around the, 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 the threshold you know, where these guys are standing. Um, when the bulk of the caravan has, has gathered, uh, a man and a dwarf step forward and stand on a raised, sort of a, this like little raised platform uh, before all of your sort of <laughs> assemblage. Uh, and Does the man look like a sorcerer? Never mind. No. Okay. No. Uh, the, the man steps forward and, you know, he's just sort of a plain looking guy. Um, uh, I have a picture of him if you're interested. Sure. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Of course. Where is he at? So he doesn't have this look on his face. He's got sort of a more beatific, beatific look on his face. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, that's basically his features. That is a plain looking dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but he steps forward, and he's got he's he's got these like kind of nice vestments, and you can see that he's uh, clearly um, you know a servant of the light. You know, he's one uh -huh. of Galdemir's uh, initiates. Nice. He's not high ranking, but uh, he says, "Greetings, my friends. I am called Brother Gregor, and this is Hive Indicator Balder." And he gestures to the dwarf standing next to him uh, with this sort of shield that is impossibly clean and pristine. Uh, and you know he's got a, a uniform of the pact on. With the pact is sort of like this. Well, it's what. Uh, That's what's on my shield. Well, what um, Ragnar is part of, um, and they're they're basically like sort of a, a, a group dedicated to reclaiming Hill Dwarf heritage and to killing all goblinoids. And you know their, their holy book is called the Grievance. Um, <laughs> So anyways, uh, stab him in the heart to make sure they're dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says, we welcome you to the gates of Valengard. And he sort of gestures, you know. Uh, a year has passed since my lord, Rugar Steelhaven, chosen of the light, led his noble brethren through countless horrors and valiantly defeated the hobgoblin warlord Vaxus, scattering his army to the wind. He's, he's practiced this, right? <laughs> uh, he's, he's being purposeful. You can tell he's being purposefully flourishy, you know. My lord, Rugar has invited all those with strong backs and noble hearts to come and share in the glory of this historic event. Our thanks to all of you for answering his call. There is much work to be done. May the light of Galdemar bless us all in this great endeavor. And he... <laughs> yeah. Bravo! Yeah. What a back. bloody great speech! No, is it just me? <laughs> no, bloody hell! Sorry, I thought it was great. <laughs> you <were> thinking again? <laughs> um, intelligence. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Brother Gregor sort of uh, steps down from the, um, you know, from the the, the platform, and uh, the high vindicator sort of walks down behind him. Uh, there are a lot of guards, and they sort of like form almost like a funnel. Uh, and you know, uh, uh, Brother Gregor stands here, and uh, the High Vindicator stands here. And you know, he sort of waves everyone forward to sort of like come basically form a line and, and, and mm. move. Come along, form a line. Um, you can see that uh, the, the High Vindicator is just sort of standing there, like his eyes are closed. And uh, folks st start going through. Um, so let's see here. None of you are evenly aligned, correct? No. Correct. Mm. Yes. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no okay. All right. So as you guys are going, you do notice that like further Sorry, up man. in the line ahead of you <laughs> is is the the the, the, sh the shady guys, and. Um, the humans. Yeah, right. and and as they as they walk past uh -huh. uh, the hive indicator, you see them. Raise his hand. Yeah, that's right. And and um, th the guards sort of like come over to them, mm. and uh, mm. you know, and sort of you, you can't really hear what they're saying, but they're like mm. pointing them over there, and you see the guy like, "What? What is the problem?" You know, and they and they basically sort of lead uh, that that particular guy into into the tent, uh, into a tent off to the side. Fucking border patrol, man. They're the same everywhere. What's that? Yeah, I was just <laughs> making a joke. Border patrol. <laughs> That was that. The guy, that was the guys that were mean to the kid. Yes. Yeah. Was, yeah, yes. Okay. yeah. You don't actually see the the one with the the hood. Right. You don't know where where she is. The kid. Then? That's right. Um, the evil. 
The evil Orville. Yeah. Um, the evil and you Orville. notice that, like, basically the high vindicator stops all of the, all those guys that were with uh, with them, except for the kid. Mm. He, let, he lets the kid go. And the, okay. the kid's sort of like looking back, like looking in, and he, he sort of timidly goes in. Yeah. Oh, this was part of it. We never found out what he wanted. Can we catch up with the kid? No, he's yeah, on sure. his own, which is what yeah. they said. Please stay in line. Please stay in nah. line. Everyone will get their chance to come in. Mm. Okay, so you guys, you guys make it, make it to your point, and you walk past the, the high vindicator, and he, he, you know, he's, he just, <laughs> or whatever he's doing, you know, just standing there with his eyes closed, sort of concentrating. Um, he can still smell more, Akbar. Who can? Is there after we clear the line, is there a place where I can wait yeah, for the high vindicator to be done? Uh, so what, what, what he's here. saying is. N not immediately, but okay. that doesn't mean there won't be further up. Okay. okay. Oh, so as you yes. guys okay. as you guys walk into the uh, into the passageway, mm -hmm. uh, you know it gets it gets kind of gloomy in here. You can feel cool air sort of blowing up past you out of the passageway. Um, looking down, it's 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 a long passageway, right? And there are burning braziers lighting the path uh, every ten yards or so. So it's got this kind of warm, dwarvy invited invitingness. Ah, bloody lovely. Um, about 100 yards down the passage, you come to the first of the massive steel gates uh, that, that, you know, are one of the, the sort of more, uh, one of the more noted or, you know, famous, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? God damn it. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, defenses. Right. Right. Ah, right. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Like a bulwark uh, or something. Uh, the gate is currently open, uh, and you know, allowing the pilgrims to proceed through it. Uh, you can see that the bottom of the gate features these big teeth that sort of lock into strategically placed holes in the in the stone floor. Uh, and the gate itself has got to be like five feet thick, just solid metal. Um, you notice that. Um, let's see here. Where am I at? Okay, there's a smaller side gate to your right. Uh, and it's double doors sort of made out of the same solid steel as the larger gates. Uh, but there are designs and decorations all over these doors. And from, you know, just from the distance that you're looking at, you could tell they're, they're sort of like, almost like pictograms of stories and stuff like that. And it features prominently orcs and goblins being slaughtered by dwarves and stuff like that. Uh, they're about 15 feet high. And in the center mechanism, there's what looks like a two inch tall sort of a key slot. But you walk past that. Oh, um, fuck, I remember this. Uh, you also notice that this, like, there's a strange metal protuberance that sort yep. of juts out from the wall next to the side door. <laughs> that was a, Not quite sure what that is. That if anyone fucking, wants to make an insight check, like though. Like three hours of us spinning our wheels trying to figure out the fuck that protuberance was. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm curious about around. the protuberance. Oh, yeah, uh, go on. Someone I'm I'm more I've seen enough protuberance in their life. It's actually mm. not. I think insight's uh, even less no, than that. It's probably like a seven. Yeah. Uh, I got a 12. Uh, plus three on that, 17. Okay, you, 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 you kind of guess that it's some way, because it, it's metal, right? And just the, the way it, it's, there, there's sort of like uh, wear and tear on certain parts of it. It looks like something that they like hit to communicate. Mm, okay. Almost like, uh, you know, like cups with a string, yep. you know, kind of thing. And mm. that, that, that's what you guess it is. Um. You notice also that there are small holes, roughly 45 degrees on both sides of the arched roof, that sort of uh, like sit directly over the braziers. Um, not really sure what that is, but one could assume maybe they pour stuff in there to kill any would-be attackers. Mm. Yeah. Um, there's a group of guards posted uh, at the small gate, and they sort of wave you guys on, directing you deeper into the passage. Um, as you go down the passage, you notice there's a couple scaffolded sections in the tunnels where stonesmiths are working to sort of repair the areas that have been damaged by you know time. And there's not very many of them, but you know they're smoothing it out and making it look nice. Uh, some of these workmen pat, greet you guys as you pass. Hey, you know, wave and hello. You know, they look like very energized, right? They're they're working happily and. Um, Ancient as it is, you can't but you can't help but admire the work that went into building this place. It's, it's you know like this world's equivalent to one of the like seven wonders of the world kind of a thing. Uh, 
So you, you pass through three more similar three more similar gates to this. They're spaced about 100 feet apart. Um, there's guards posted at each one that wave you through uh, until you reach the final gate and you sort of reach this large open chamber. It's a circular chamber, and this chamber is like a buzz with activity. There's workers and craftsmen sort of stomping about, just doing all sorts of jobs. There's tables, big piles of like... Uh, of um, you know, building materials and things like that. Um, the chamber's circular. It's about 100 feet in diameter. There is a large set of double doors, just like the ones off to the side, uh, uh, but it's like directly in front of you. Uh, you know, across the room, past all the, the, the craziness. Uh, there are braziers placed around the edge of the room. They help illuminate the area and provide warmth. And there are benches that have been placed around the edge of the room near the fires. Uh, and large barrels filled with fresh water uh, placed near the benches. Uh, looking up, you notice that ch the chamber continues up, like as far as you can see, perhaps like a thousand feet. Wow! Uh, oh, and you can see light sort of shining down from the top of this this super high shaft. Um, and you can see that there are several lifts sort of moving slowly up and down, laden with tools and supplies and building materials of mm. all sorts. Um, like this place is busy. Mm -hmm. um, so you get this sort of, there's a feeling of purpose and optimism in the air. And many of the passing workers and, you know, they greet any number of the newcomers, you guys, other people, hello and welcome. And, you know, every once in a while you get a brotherly slap on the back, you know. Uh, you know, there are some other more cheeky ones. They go, I hope you're ready to work, lads. And, you know, Whoa. get to work, you bag of stones and that kind of stuff. Um, but very few stop for more than a few seconds. They just they appear too busy to chat. Uh, the guards sort of direct you guys to take comfort uh, in the fires and refresh yourselves. Uh, and you can sit down uh, if you want. Um, but by the time you guys you know sort of get your bearings in this place, you can hear the uh, the the, uh, the sound of these huge stone and steel mechanisms engaging sort of deep in the mountain. Uh, and one by one, the steel gates. Close up. Uh, all the way down. Um, is there anything you want to do before I go to the next part? Uh, uh, well, at some point, I want to talk to the Hype Indicator, but I assume that's going to be a while. Do I see <clears throat> the kid anywhere? Uh, yes. All right. Yes, he's just sort of like sitting by himself over by... Uh, one of the fires, you know, drinking, oh, well. drinking some water. Yeah, it's gone. Hey, Daggers, there's that kid there. Let's go and have word with him. Hey, all right. It's a bit funny, that stuff that happened back there. I'm not sure. I didn't trust the rest of them. What yeah. Is... So it's a little leery about these humans. Nah, bloody humans. Right, so yeah, right. To listen. Me and Daggers pop over there. Talk with them to listen, because okay. I want to report that to the Hive Indicator okay. at some point. Uh, He's the guy that indicates where the hive is. <laughs> I know, right? Hi, I got that as well. Hive indicator. <laughs> it's like, where's, He's where's like, there the it is. Peace. Yeah, 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 where's the peace? Where where is he? Oh, oh, so, friends so. are fine. <laughs> uh, where are we? Oh, yeah, Sorry, kid. What did you say to the kid? Nothing, yeah. I think <laughs> he, was he, was right. talking okay. he was talking to him. Oh, we were yeah, on so. our way. Uh, you're right there, kid. What happened back there? You remember us? What happened back there? Yeah, yes. Hello. Be safe. What's happened to the people you were traveling with? Oh, uh, I don't think they got in. They didn't get in. They're never getting in. Mm, I don't know. When we first met you, what was the other chap saying to you? Uh, he wanted you to do something. Uh, what did you do? Uh, uh, that's just me, Dar. Right. He, what he did he want you to do? He wanted me to, to come to Valengard, even if, you know, he didn't get in. Oh. <clears throat> Where did you come right. from, lad? Well, where, uh, where from? Where from <laughs> do you hail? Well, mommy human and a uh, daddy human love each other. I, uh, yeah. Well, originally, you know, I I I lived in the speckled highlands, but uh, for the past couple of years, we've lived in Needles, Needle Creek. Sorry, I'm from around Needle Creek. Oh. What do you love do in Needle Creek? Logging mostly. 
All right, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Being the needle creek is a logging term. Our good answer, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you passed my test. You passed my first test. Can I um? I think I get can it. I make a check to see if this guy, if he's being like deceitful at all, or if he's just uh, being sure. nervous sure. or Do, some uh, such? Let's let's try insight. Insight. Yeah. Nope. That's nope. a five <laughs> total. Nah, he just seems like a real earnest kid. You know. Okay. He's like, you know awkward as teenagers are. And, yeah. Well, um, and now alone. So. And, and now alone. Yeah. Right. This would make this this his behavior would would seem not out of place. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Uh, <clears throat> what does yeah. your dad want you to do here? Oh, you know, just get a job and, and help. Help with what? Yeah. Well, you, Locking? You, you know, like doing the stuff that they're doing. Uh, why were you so worried when he was well, telling I, you to come in here by yourself? I, you know, I, I wasn't worried. <laughs> you were definitely worried. I, I, no, I wasn't. Boy. <laughs> I'm not, well, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not scared. <laughs> oh, don't lie to me, boy. I, oh. I'm, not, I'm not scared. <clears throat> Let's see if I can uh, not fail intimidating. <laughs> Don't be too harsh on the boy. Uh, six plus five, so eleven. I don't know what you want from me, sir. I, I'm, I want you to speak the truth. I, I, I am. Mm-hmm. I don't like this kid. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is. I think literally it's like. Mum and dad wanted a better life for him. Remember you the hive, the hive indicator. The hive. Indicator. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not there. I'm not there. The the hive right, indicator so. let him in, but nah. he didn't nah. let the rest of them in. Oh. Right, so he's and it seemed like they were putting him up to some uh, kind of uh-huh. shady mission. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They were trying to get him to go somewhere they know they couldn't go yeah. to do who knows what. Yeah. So therefore, fuck this guy. Glad do you know who so, that nice young lady <clears throat> is with the uh, oh. charred black teeth and the shady hood? Uh, I think your name's Glenda. She's, she's my, the good witch. She's my dad's boss. And right, what uh, what does Glenda do? Uh, she's I, I don't know. Doesn't she's, look like much of a logger that I've ever seen. She's got a big axe. Aye, right, but there are different kinds of axes. Really? Some axes you chop down trees with. Some axes you chop down other men with. Hmm. I yeah. I, I don't know. I've never seen her do that. And she's not very nice. I don't talk to her very much. Mm. I let my dad, my dad, take care of that. All right. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. No further questions, you, uh, Your Honor. <laughs> no further questions, Your Honor. Uh, I rest my case. Uh, <laughs> good, good luck in Valengard. He kind of wanders off into the corner. Right, before you, before boy. he goes, uh, uh, I say you can have a good life here if you're good. <laughs> Just, say no. <laughs> Just say no. Just say no. Yeah, I put on my trench coat and start singing the Scrap McGuff song. <laughs> <laughs> he, sort of, he sort of raises his glass of water awkwardly and, and, and walks away. <clears throat> oh, All right. So y'all keep your nose clean. <laughs> his nose was fine. Have, <laughs> goblins have black noses, right? They have the fucking... Okay, so... Uh, after a brief respite, uh, the double doors across the room open. <clears throat> and a heavily scarred dwarf with a short patchy beard stomps towards uh, your sort of assemblage. Um, you know, he's got scars on his face. He looks like he's been in a few fights. Um, his, his beard does not seem to match... The length of his beard does not seem to match his age, if that makes any sense, right? Um... Uh, let's see, where was I? Oh, yeah, and it, it, it is, he sort of has this ragged voice and it pierces the din. He starts calling out, New arrivals to me! New arrivals, follow me! I should change my voice to something scratchy. Um, he sort of like walks past you guys, like, uh, and sort of head, starts heading back to the double doors. He just sort of does a big circuit, circuit around the room, you know, just saying, I'm God Morton, new arrivals, follow me! 
And uh, you, well, know, you see yeah. your your That's us. other pilgrims start sort of falling in behind him. Go on, go on, Mara. Um, well, frog milk. So, oh, so he leads you in yeah. uh, through the, the double doors that were across across the room, and he turns right and he begins to climb this steep stairwell. Right, it's about fifteen feet wide and it sort of curves. Um, uh, you know, you being dwarves, you quickly ascertain that the stairs sort of ascend in an elliptical path uh, along the outer walls of the chamber that you just left. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an occasional window uh, on the inner wall that sort of allows you to view, like, down in. Uh, but, you know, you don't get much of a chance to stop and admire the view because everyone's sort of, like, pushing. Or not pushing, but, you know, just working towards the top. I cackle um, to myself. What's that? I said I cackle to myself. <laughs> ah, the <laughs> gates of hell. <laughs> cool. Uh, so you're reaching the top, and it was quite a climb. You know, your hearts are pounding. Your legs are aching. Uh, oh, yeah. But Morden doesn't seem, you know, affected at all. He uh, ushers you through uh, another set of doors to the left, and you sort of step out into the open air, open air of a large courtyard. Uh, this court courtyard is filled with a small city of tents, temporary structures, structures, same sort of hustle and bustle of folk on the go as you saw downstairs. Um, stepping out into the open, the ancient keep of Valengard looms over the courtyard. Uh, it's set on a rocky plateau, like directly in front of you, and this massive gate is covered in a sort of a spidery cocoon of scaffolding and lifts. Uh, there are stonemasons sort of up there crawling all through the, you know, scaffolding like little ants. Um, broken stone towers sort of rise above the massive, you know, um, heartwood trees that are, you know, up here. Uh, and they're sort of silhouetted against the sky. And uh, the distant peaks of the stone, uh, the storm wall you can see far off. Feels like you're sort of at the top of the world, like you're looking at the top of the world. Um, while most of the structures are still in a state of complete ruin, uh, the place remains awe-inspiring. Like this, this place was like a jewel of the Hill Dwarf Kingdom, you know, back in the day. Uh, and your imaginations run wild, and you wonder what secrets lay in the lower vaults of the dungeons of Valgar Keep. Uh, Morden turns, and he's sort of got this wide, broken-toothed smile. You know, it's almost like cracking his head in half. Uh, you know, and uh, he sort of spreads his arm wide and proudly pro proclaims, "Brothers and sisters." Welcome to Valengard! Hooray! Oh, and that's where we end for tonight. <laughs> oh, boo! So the gates, the, the gates of Valengard are this massive structure in the mountain, mm -hmm. right? And then mm -hmm. once you go through them and go up, 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 you mm -hmm. come out the other side mm -hmm. and you're up and there's a building called Valengard. There's a huge keep. It's Valengard is, I mean, it's there's Valengard keep, right? right. But then... Well, you don't know this yet. So that's what I'm, there that's is what I'm, more. Like, yeah, there okay. are other buildings around, awesome. okay. right, that are in various states. Mm -hmm. And you guys do notice that, uh, like, sort of coming out of the keep, there's a new structure being built that looks like it might be a temple, but you're not sure. That was fucking cool, Phil, because I, I, uh, I got to, I, I, we cleared this out. In Phil's game, know. Phil's the last campaign he ran was me and uh, oh, me. You, you were part of the group that cleansed the evil. Yeah, from me, ah. it, me and Steve and oh, yeah. TJ and oh, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. <laughs> yes, uh, were the party when we came here. This was like a hobgoblin infested keep, mm -hmm. and we like at one point we leveled up and literally fought twenty hobgoblins, and Steve. Fireballed all of them <laughs> to death. Like yeah. he melt what was supposed yeah. to be a whole encounter, mm -hmm. he just went <laughs> and they melted. <laughs> and it was, uh, yeah, it was crazy. And we spent fucking hours trying to figure out how the gates worked and what that little nubbin that you pound on was for and shit. Mm -hmm. It was oh, really cool. Yeah, yeah, so you got um, right in your way in there. Rugar oh. Steelhaven is Matt's character. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, it was cool I, because Rugar Steelhaven's the, he, he literally was like the first cleric in generations. And Steve's playing a sorcerer. And Steve's basically like an atheist, and he's like, I, I, he's, I, I'm like, you know, we, you know, the the gods are real, man. And he's like, whatever, man, anybody can do that. Watch this, like that. Doesn't have anything to do. Doesn't have anything to do with gods, man. You're delusional. And the whole campaign, we were sniping him. It was awesome. Yeah, it was good. That's cool. But yeah, High Vindicator Balric is Tom's character. Yeah. Uh, Heldrock is Jerry's character. Uh, Sarge was TJ's character. And you guys, 
Clark is nowhere to be found because he wandered off. Yeah, yeah, he, he had a, he, he had a, he didn't stay. He had some there. kind of voice in his head. He had like his ancestral, yeah. his ancestral dragon or some shit was talking to him because mm-hmm. he's a he's a sorcerer with dragon draconic ancestry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I kept waiting for Laura to show up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's, so all, he's super like cool wandering the earth. Yeah, makes sense. On his quest, on his vision quest. Yeah. Uh, it was super cool having you describe Valengard now alive and thriving and the gates functioning normally without. <laughs> yeah. That was really cool, man. Cool. For me, at least. Yeah, so, yeah, cool. next week uh, we'll have part two. Awesome. Ooh. Cool. Uh, next week we delve into the, into the depths. Yep. Bloody hell. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Off we go. Uh, Deep into the depths. That's it. But oh, so cool. thank, thank you, Phil. Yeah, thank that you. Was awesome. you. Bloody press. I don't know if there's an end stream. Thanks. There is. Yeah, yeah, you press that. Okay. Toodle pip. Later. Bye bye. See you next week.